Can you hear me now? Okay, yes, fixed, excellent. May have had, wow, we almost have 300 people and I had no sound for the first. That guy's getting a bite. All right, guys, um, we are good now. Guys, we're gonna be shark fishing this evening. Shark and redfish fishing. And uh, just hanging out with my brother and my dad. And we just have a lineup. Bro, could you be what? so kind as to um, rig up that other rod that's sitting there? Oh, geez, yeah. And, uh, this one? yes, that one. What do you want on um, <laughs> Mullet, please. All right. All right, so everybody can hear. We are good there. And uh, yeah, guys, we are out on a pier at night. Uh, we'll get the lights and everything adjusted. A guy here just caught a nice shark, so we're hoping to catch some sharks. One line is out with some mullet, and we're gonna get the other ones rigged up. I'm gonna sit back um, and let and let Micah. Hey, Mason, what's going on? Bill. I live to serve the noble house of Mason. <laughs> Excellent. I can hear. All right, everybody's good. We have Let's Go Brandon, Andrew, Walker. All right, guys, we are in South Carolina on the coast. Mike's going to cast out a shark line. Dude, I have I have rags right there just to let you know. Oh, cool. Are they organic? <laughs> organic cotton. Well, we already have. Um, straight off the side, please. Thank you, Andrew, Stellar, Cole, Joan, Darren, Anna, George, the Queen, Ratman, Kelly. They're going by so fast. <laughs> no way. All right. So the we got two lines out. Is that line out over there, bro? Yeah, it is. Oh, I've sweet. Got the drag loose, so you'll hear the drag scream. Oh, okay. All right. We are good to go. Okay. Sweet. What's up, Brad? Okay, so that makes two lines out. We got three. Oh, three. You got two, I got one. Oh, excellent. I think we should probably throw one more out. Well, I think Opa, or, when you're, Opa's got one out, doesn't he? Pops, oh. you, you got one out? I got shrimp out. I'll just do it along the piling. Oh, okay. well, what do you want out? What else do you want out? I got a small rod rig. No, that should be good. Yeah, I got four rods out. What more do you want? She <laughs> Needy. <laughs> All right. Three lines out. Three guys, lines within out a few minutes of coming here, um, a guy caught, a guy had two bites and he caught a shark. So we are hoping for the yeah. same results tonight. Micah got me this sweet live streaming setup where we could be out here for hours. People already want me to jump in the water. Jeez. <laughs> if you don't Off make five grand, I will jump <laughs> yeah. in the water and swim hard. I kid you not. 5,000 bucks hits that. Now, it's got to be mine, though. I'm not splitting <laughs> yeah, it. You're not splitting it with me. I will Peter Pan right off this pier. That would be, this is a very sharky area. I, w I wouldn't jump in even for 5,000 yeah, to be honest. Oh, look, we missed a super chat. It's a solid 100 yard swim, too. Yeah. And that, that has would me be a little, little nervous. Like, we got tiger sharks and all kinds of stuff. Bull sharks. Mm. Hammerhead. I can't see. When they, when they. Where'd the super chat go? I have no idea. It did this to me last time. It took a second to show the super chat. Um. My dad's over there. He's chatting with some people on the pier. He'll be over momentary. There are other people all fishing out here. <laughs> yeah. So, and I asked them if we could film them, if they catch another thing um, while we're here. And they said yes. So hopefully. Yes, we're doing a cook-off tomorrow. Nigel McNeil. You What's remember up, Nigel? I remember You're, Nigel. Okay. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Nigel, dude? How you doing, man? Things are great, Nigel. Yeah, Appreciate hope all is well off. with you and your fam, dude. You're up in the Yukon, living is the dream. Is he gold mining? Are you gold mining, Nigel? You got. If you're in the Yukon, you have to be gold mining. You better be gold mining. I want to see you on Friday nights on Gold Gold, gold Rush. Rush. Yeah, I want to see Nigel running a running a bulldozer <laughs> or a dozer. So Mason claims he's gonna give us ten thousand dollars. If, if we Mason gives ten thousand, I will. One, I kid you not. I'll strip down to my skivvies right here. <laughs> I'll, I'll, it'll be just me and my boxers heading in. Juan Yi gave five dollars. Thank you so much. Mason McNeil, Mason. Man, the goat fishing duo. Let's catch some big ones. Hopefully, you guys will be seeing some sharks. Look, did that one? That one bounced just the tiniest bit. It may have been a whiting. Sometimes the whiting come along and grab it just for a second. 
but uh, we're hoping for sharks and big redfish. A guy caught a uh, 40, 41 inch and 43 inch. He's, he's gone now. Um, 41 inch and 43 inch one so far tonight. Yeah, dude, you see it bounce? Look at it. Yeah, and Look it's at it. the tide though. See that? It's a tide. Oh, yeah. maybe it's the tide. See, I'm when seeing you tide get ocean bites. fishing as long as I have in my state. You get, you know, you understand the tide, the tide and the waves here. Like, just learn it like a woman. <laughs> we'll learn it like a woman. Like yeah. you learn a woman. You learn a woman. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, hundred percent. You just know it. Mm. You could feel it. You could feel the water but beneath your feet. You could feel it hitting the pier. You just know how it feels. Like when she says, "Everything's all right." Right. And it means everything's not all right. right. Yeah. The I see I see what you're saying. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> thank you, you know. Mason, for the $20. Yes, Appreciate it. Thank you, Mason. He's splitting all this with me. <laughs> he doesn't know that. He had to pay me We're to come do on one. his live stream. If you guys have, don't know Micah's channel, go watch his channel because Raider Nation, he's, the guy says. All right. You That's guys right. Just won. That's right. Um, we're gonna do a, a live stream on his channel next. Yeah, like probably tomorrow night or the night before, depending on the weather. All, all this is like weather permitting. So if it's calm tomorrow and decent, we'll probably be out here on my channel tomorrow. So live streams for days this week. So if you missed tonight or can't catch the whole thing, we'll be going for eight or nine hours tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe start with you guys. If you oh. want to do it, dude, whatever you want for your channel. If we do, I would not mind being out here on a pier doing eight hour live stream. Just like all day. Just, just all have day. it going. Dude, I got the power source you for do. it. You do. That actually might be kind of fun. Like live stream during the afternoon. Start uh -huh. in the afternoon and go into the evening. Yeah. Just bring supper out here. We can order pizza, dude. That'd be cool. Have, have pizza like, delivered to a pier. Have pizza like Hub Grub delivered. Hub. Jig head outdoors. Give half to Mike to clean his boat. Oh, hashtag no more salmonella. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Is there a joke in there? Yeah, because I, so on one of my last videos, I did the, uh, uh, I had a whole chickens catching oh, crab. Yeah? It's sal no, it's according to Bobby over at Jig Head Outdoors, it should be the SS Salmonella. That's what my boat's oh, your be. Oh, now. I see. Because I of all see. the raw chicken on the deck. So we have a donation from Lisa. <laughs> Lisa. Hello, my son. <laughs> I don't want to mess up people's names. Hello, son. <laughs> Says, hey to both of you. He's a big fan of both of you. Appreciate it. Lisa F. Yes. I didn't want to mess it up. Is it Faggart? I, I, have, I have no idea. Fadger? It doesn't really matter. I don't know. I'm, I'm heading into dangerous waters uh, yeah, here. I'm going to stop. Especially for a family friendly channel. 100% clean is what Ace, I'm going for. What is the for. biggest shark you've caught? What is the biggest shark yeah. I've ever caught? It is, um, here's your microphone. Thank you. Um, the biggest shark I've ever caught. I think it was just like the keys. What? The what? It was about five feet. Oh yes, the, it was on the live stream. Oh, AJ Lee gave $5. Hello, what's up? Hello from Missouri Catfishing, the Missouri oh, Catfish in the Facebook the, group. What was his name? AJ is AJ. fishing while watching fishing. Yeah, That's he was dedication the one, to fishing. Yeah, yeah, he would fish while watching. That fishing. is incredible actually. That man can't get enough of fishing right there. <laughs> Even I don't do that, like watch YouTube fishing videos while I'm fishing. No, I don't either, actually. <laughs> Unless I'm trying to figure out how to catch the fish I'm fishing for. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm looking up tips or whatever. So what was the biggest, oh, yeah, you have the to biggest shark? Uh, um, yeah. So the biggest shark was a nurse shark, like a five-footer in, um, in, in the Keys. And that was caught on a, during a live stream. If you wow. guys remember that one, I lifted it into the boat. And all that stuff, yeah. And this is the Keys of Florida, correct? Yes, the Keys of okay. Florida. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Cool. All right, anybody hey. have a question for Micah? Love, Love your videos. videos. Thank you for Uncle. You're welcome, X. bro. Thank you. <laughs> he loves my videos. Hello from what's where's WCU? Somebody lives in Knoxville, or Knox, as the cool kids call it. Really? That's what they say. Yeah. Locals. You're lying to me right now, aren't you? Mm, no, not at all. He just said it right in his, on his comment. I watch every video. Yeah, look, there is Knox, Tennessee. Oh. Maybe a native brook trout deep in the mountains. Native brook trout. Mike, what's the biggest shark you've ever caught? You know, it was a three-foot. Um, so it was a three-foot. Uh, oh, no, uh, no, oh, you got that? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, it was a three-foot uh, Atlantic sharp nose. Actually, I caught it right here at the Isle of Palms. And cooked it up right on the bed of my truck for one of my videos. I actually caught it this past summer. Actually, it was a little over three feet, a little over three feet long. 
Are so, you plugging uh, your channel on my channel? Yeah. High Adventure Videos. Go watch. <laughs> a lot of people say it's better than this channel. Wow. I'm, I wouldn't say it. You hadn't didn't hear it here, but some people say it. Some people do. I mean, it's just say it. But I'm not saying it. Anyway. Let's get back to, or introduce Me Ancient here, <laughs> who has moved out. Me Ancient, have you had any um, bites so far? I, I have something to take your shrimp. Something okay. take your shrimp. Okay. You're going to rig on another piece of shrimp. The problem is they didn't even feel anything, so. Oh. But um, let's get another piece of shrimp. Mm. Somebody says hit the gritty. I don't even know the gritty, but Micah could, could teach me. Here we go. Yeah, there Asa we go. needs to hit the gritty. I only know it's the I, I only part. know the eye part. It's just, oh just, wait, it's just a heel tap. It's just a what? So you just go into the surf like this, like that. And you just swing your arms? Yeah, but yeah, it's all it's all gotta be like it's all gotta be like. You know, it's oh, just a heel, heel tap. Oh, okay, I get. I see. I'm in flip flops. I could probably do you that. You probably could hit that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Mike, will you ever go gator fishing? Somebody asked. The comments gone. <laughs> if if DNR will actually pick my number, so I, because it's a lottery, if they will actually draw my number, yes, I will gator fish. I put in for it every year. And this is, this is the first year I put in for it. So, <laughs> hopefully, so take it up with DNR. I've been told, actually, it's best if you know somebody at DNR. Oh, that makes sense. You just pick out from yeah, the lottery. Yeah. That's how lotteries work. You yeah. pick some winners sometimes. Exactly. And then, it helps if you kind of are in the know there. So I need to know somebody over at DNR, and maybe my chance. Apparently, chances go way up mm. if you if you're friends. So mm. there you go. But we will. And when I do gator fish, I'm probably gonna bring Ace along because I'm probably uh, not gonna do that by myself. But we're gonna. I have definitely to want to eat some gator balls. A <laughs> not. <laughs> Those was like Rocky Mountain oysters, <laughs> except like like low country oysters. <laughs> no, I want to eat eat <laughs> ground up. I'm out. <laughs> you know, we'll move on here. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, I want to eat some gator. You want some? You you want gator nuggets? Is what you're saying? <laughs> nuggets. You yes. could have used nuggets the whole time. That you would have like slid right through that whole thing. But you yeah. know, um, but you no, know, we're like gonna both. have to get. I like both, really. Good for you. I'm glad. <laughs> anyway, what were you saying about gator cooking? We got, no, we're going to have to learn how to hunt crossbows because that's like a, one of the, well, snagging and then... Um, they cross uh, they crossbow fish? Yeah, you can, you bolt Carolina? them. Yeah, because you can't shoot them here in South Carolina. So you either have oh. to snag them or you have to spear them like with a crossbow, a bow and arrow, something like that. I see. Um, oops. Oh, almost canceled the live stream. <laughs> George... And I'm just gonna say your guys' first name because I don't mess with your last names. Uh, hi, love your vids. Me ancient should do a live. Yeah, on his MRE channel. There oh, the go. microphone's all up in the way. Okay. Uh, uh, what's your? Let's see. We got some some weird comments. Got some weird some comments. Great yeah. comments. Some of y'all are freaky, freaky. <laughs> Shout up YouTube channel. I want to see you catch and make crab cakes. AJ Lee, Micah has caught and cooked crab cakes. Yeah, How are those, several bro? times. I've done blue crab, Dungeness crab on the Oregon coast. Phenomenal both. Um, you got to have them fresh, though. Like, I, I mean, I made mine, like, I caught them, you know, in the bay. Used the bay water to cook them. Phenomenal. Um, but, bro, you've never made the crab cakes, have you? Uh, no, I, I never get super elaborate on my channel. It's kind of... Uh, vanilla? It's vanilla in the cooking part, but the fishing part's cool. Is that why you would say you're on the decline in YouTube? Um, yeah, yeah, according to some people, I'm on the decline of YouTube. Um, we just passed 300 million total internet views, but somehow I'm on the decline, uh, according to reports. I'm also British, according to some blog posts. Uh, that was new. British. Oh. Ace is a British YouTuber. I'm glad you came out of the closet, finally, and yeah. admitted that you are European. Mm, exactly. How does it feel? Is it free? You know, it was written by a guy from India. And so it all made sense when I got to the end of the article and, and saw that, yeah, saw the ah, article right. about me. Wow. So with the declining YouTube channel, what do you plan to do for a living here uh, in the coming years? Um, I'll probably go back to window cleaning and try to use my uh, channel name to promote my business. Um, basically, window cleaning and gutter cleaning, I'll, I'll do a sort of world tour 
mm. kind of thing so I can fish everywhere. And uh, that's a probably symbolic, what I'll be doing. right? Since your channel's heading into the gutter, you'd go back to gutter cleaning. <laughs> that is, that's very true. That is spot on. I would go to gutter cleaning. Yes, exactly. By go. the way, hot tip for any young entrepreneurs out there: you can make forty to fifty dollars an hour cleaning people's gutters. They will pay you forty to fifty dollars an hour jumping up on their roof and cleaning their gutters. No joke. Great but, business to get into. But how, much, how much college do you need to make that kind of money? Uh, no, you, you don't need no college required no college? either. To make Making $40 an hour? $40 to $50 sure? an hour. That is a secret business not many people know about, although now 534 people now know about it. So. Oh, there you go. There you go. Economic and life tips here at Ace Videos and yes. High Adventure Videos. Go check out my channel, High Adventure Videos, <laughs> High Adventure Videos too. Since I am. 30 and unmarried. I'm also qualified to give dating advice like all the other YouTube influencers. I thought you were going to say for AARP <laughs> since you're 30. <laughs> no, 30 and unmarried. I am perfectly qualified to now to start a relationship channel. That is always what you see. Nigel, mom and dad just went down to Maui with Erica. Oh. Sadly, oh, Opa passed away last year. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Yeah. Sorry to hear about that. Man, I like Opa. He was a fixture there. Yeah, he was. Like, you always just, like, looked for him. Mm -hmm. He was, like, a staple there in January and February yeah. and March in and Maui. And they go for their evening walk yep. every night on the grass. And, like, it was their social tour. We see him up. On, I always see him up on the lawn chair. Uh -huh. He, like, hanging on the lawn chair looking out over the beach. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Sorry about that, man. Sorry yeah. to hear about that. Hope the family's doing all right. Mm. Micah Shrimp Scampy. You might see that on either High Adventure Videos or High Adventure Videos 2. Either one of most channels. Um, good to Glad see you. Glad to see you knuckleheads back together. That's to my mom. A, knuckleheads. To, yeah, you have to say that in a, in a what is that, a, what's his bucket's face? Uh, Barkley? That's Barkley. I almost Barkley. said Saquon Barkley, but that's the running back <laughs> for the Giants. Charles Barkley. You two knuckleheads. Mama calls us that too. Yeah. Mom, our mom sells us knuckleheads. Max Clark just gave $20 with no message. Max, Thank you, Max. Bro. Appreciate you. Um, somebody asked, well, there was an interesting question. All right, we need more questions from the peanut gallery. Yeah, let's ask Ace. Oh, Tash is on. What's up, Tash? Hi, Tash. I think Tash is one of the Tash OG mods subscribers. Me. She, is she a moderator for yeah. you? Oh. You see, Mason Way to too. go, Tash. So you've moderated my brother's channel, too. Where's the loyalty anymore? She likes mine better, actually. Where? Yeah, where is the loyalty anymore? Shame. Tash, I'm unfollowing you on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's watching. Somebody said start Green an eighth channel. He actually has a ninth one in the works as well. <laughs> so, I think you may my, as well just... My main one's on the decline, so I have to start these other yeah. ones. Oh, Barnell Project has all smack talk about Ace on Micah's channel, and here we are on Ace Nonsense. Thank you. Oh, somebody asked, what is the biggest redfish you've ever caught? Biggest redfish I caught, I believe it was last year, I think I caught a 41-incher. That was down in Edisto. 41-incher. Yep, I believe it's 41 inches. I'd have to go back and review the footage, but 41 inches. That is an impressive fish. Were you able to keep it? No, not in South Carolina, they've got to be between 15 and 23 inches. Otherwise, you let them go. How about you? It, what was the biggest redfish you ever caught? I think like 35 inches. Same thing, I had to let it go because it was too big. Super excited to catch it. And then you realize like this stinks because it's not anywhere near the slot. It has to be like 28 inches or less. Wait, what is the slot in Florida? It is uh, 20 to 28, I think, or oh, 18 okay. to 28. Well, it never... changes all the time. Yeah, it's year by year, right? Exactly. Did we miss a donation? I don't no, know. we did not, okay, good. I think we. I think I need to check the bait. I think I'm gonna hand the camera. You talk to everybody while I check the bait. What's up, everybody? Ace is gonna check the bait. Tash, I'm not talking to you. Psh, pish, pish posh. Ice car donates five dollars. Says you are American. <sighs> Oh geez, I awesome. Well, well played on the joke, Scar. Well played on the joke. I see, I see the word smithery down there. Well done, well done. Do you still have bait on, bro? Yeah, dude. Nothing's even touched it. That's I what don't happens think there are when any you fish don't. Out there. That's what happens when you don't catch fresh bait. 
Ace, I put Ace on cast net duty earlier today, and first off, he can't get a cast net to open to save his life. <laughs> and so we didn't he, catch any bait. He does struggle with the cast net. He struggles it? mightily. Um, Barnow Project donates and says, <laughs> Barnell feels Project. gross to donate on this channel. <laughs> I feel unclean now. Sorry, Michael. Barnow Project, fortunately for you and about 500 other people on this channel, I will be live streaming probably tomorrow night. <laughs> so hang in there. Save your donations, in fact. Oh, wow. Just wait wow. for me. Hang in wow. there. Jeez. Does anybody have any questions for me, ancient? Oh, man. So I can hear it when something hits it, bro. I believe that. I doubt anything's hit it. Pro oh, okay. Boy, things are going Holy so cow. fast, I can't see him. Been watching since the 2020 quarantine. Micah versus Sasquatch, that would be a fight. That's pay-per-view TV right there. <laughs> in the ring or in the wild? That's what I want to know. Bare Micah, too. is Ace single? If so, why? Ace, why are you single? Um, I can why? tell him why. Why are you single, Ace? <laughs> why am I single? I'll let me ancient answer that. Oh, one. wow. Uh, this uh -oh. is for... I this is for the ages here. No, he just hasn't found the right girl yet. He's he's out. He's looking. That's he's, not the answer yeah. we're looking for. Well, well, what do you want to know? I mean, that's the truth of it. So, he's looking for. Oh wait, he's somebody. kind of a gold digger, to be downright honest with you. He wants a sugar mama. <laughs> I'm looking for a rich Brazilian supermodel. Those a rich. If out. anybody knows a rich Brazilian supermodel, <laughs> I know. We'll have guy. our boy hooked up. Wow. Wow. Uh, let's see. They want a new cook. Or they want another cook off. Tyler donates a dollar. Somebody g gave two also just a minute ago. I didn't. <laughs> biggest bass, five pounds. Well, what was your biggest bass? Five pounds. Five pounds. Now, was that the one you caught in Idaho yes. way back in the day? Yep. My dad, when we were all younger, here's a here's a little nugget for you. We were fishing down in Hagerman. Some of you know where that is. Thank also, you, Jason. Jason says, "Simplify me, ain't you? Hey, simplify, Jason. Henry. Donate a dollar. Yeah, save Thank those. You, yeah, donate a dollar here, there, here. <laughs> save the big money tomorrow night for my channel, High Adventure Videos. Um, wow. <laughs> anyway, um, wow. no. So we were. I, in fact, Ace and I were fishing with my dad. In fact, you were in the canoe with Pops, weren't you? Yes, I, uh -huh. Way back in the day, dude. Yeah. How old were we? 10, 12 like years 10, old. Yeah, something like that. He Out in the a rattle trap. In the <laughs> in the in dead the of summer. Mm -hmm. My dad's, oh, Heidi. Oh, Heidi's a, a big supporter of the channel. Tony's $20. Wow. I know Miss Heidi. Heidi do, sent Thank me you, Heidi. seasonings. Heidi, you're awesome. She's an OG. Um, um, and you guys are out in the kayak, or no, in the canoe, old red canoe. Yep. yep. Dad throws a rattle trap. We like what you thought boats, you though. You thought you hooked a carp, didn't you? Yeah, I thought it was a big old carp or something. And he smacks a five pound largemouth down in Hagerman. Now, remember, five pound bass in Idaho is is like, people are taking pictures with that size of bass. A yeah, largemouth, right, too. Yeah. Um, Pondo wow. donates $20 as well. Yeah, thank you, Pondo. Um, and I remember you brought that back to the dock and we were mm -hmm. all freaking out. Of course, at like 10 years old, we all wanted him to eat it. <laughs> Keep and eat it, whoa. And, uh, and uh, you know, at like 10 that, or 12 man. years old, it was like, fillet it up, bring it home. But he let it go, thankfully. So that bass is probably still swimming around down there somewhere. But that was cool. I still remember like that day. And yeah, I, I like that, that was, was one of those. Day. It was a core memory, as the kids yeah, say these days, a core memory. Michael, what happened to the wild pickles? Dude, I have not found where to hunt pickles yet here in South Carolina, but I have heard they're here. So be on the lookout. Hopefully early next spring, maybe we'll find some more wild pickles. Somebody want to know when you're going to make Hawaii again, Ace? Yeah, Ace, back to you. When's, when's Hawaii happening, bro? Hawaii is uh, in the works possibly. Um, however, uh, we're having a hard time finding a place uh, there that is uh, uh, suitable for what we want. And uh, we're because just the decline in your channel and the money's not coming in so you can't afford Hawaii. <laughs> those are the rumors right now. Uh, those rumors, we will not confirm or deny those rumors. But so we you won't just deny them? That we are, are uh, Hawaii is a very, very far away from where we live now in the mountains and that is just such a dedicated trip. So by November, we will probably know if we're gonna go or not, but right now it's still up in the air, but we will, we will see. How far up in the air? Are we talking about? Are we talking about? I'm talking like, like 60 feet or so in the air. Okay. So it's gonna come. You know, like you know, it's gonna it's drift down. down. It's coming down, but it's gonna drift down slowly, and I'll know by the end of November. One mm -hmm. of those things. You know, it's gonna glide. 
Like a glider. glider. There you go. You heard it here first. Ace Videos can't afford to travel anymore for his channel. <laughs> so back <Lord>. to you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, just caught a 38 inch coho from coho. <laughs> wow. Nice. 607 people. I like it. I Somebody like said it. I love you. Are you in the range of 20 to 30 and female by chance? I have a single brother you might want to meet. <laughs> Only if she's a Brazilian. What did I say? You're a gold digger. A rich Brazilian super. Cat's out of the bag now. My brother's rich. marrying for money. <laughs> He's marrying for money. Why do you have the light pointed at us? I can't see a daggum <laughs> thing with the fishing rods, bro. I hope you loosened the drag. I didn't know. Me ancient. Oh, he's down the pier. We'll ask him what his best MRE is here in a minute when he gets back. Micah versus the Wild Pickle Factory. That's like Fat Boy Raids to the Cookie yeah. Factory. That's Shockwave stuff right there. remember that game? I'll oh, give dude. away a bottle of seasoning to anybody who knows what that's from. That guy has a bite. Oh, yeah, he's getting hit. It's not a massive hit, but it's definitely a hit. How come he's getting bites and we have nothing? Gabriel Perez donates 99 cents. But shoot, it was 99 cents. <laughs> Copping it, washing it, about to go and get some compliments, passing up on those moccasins someone else has been walking in. Dude, you should have been a rapper. I'm gonna be. You're gonna be? Yeah, dude. I'm young, dude. dude You're the one you who's old. You need to start a channel. Micah, uh, Micah versus Micah. What, what, what could be a name for it? Micah, DJ Micah. There you go. But I need DJ a better, like, I shouldn't use my name. It needs to no. be something like DJ M Thrash or something like that. <laughs> you need a corn pop or something like that. Yeah, I think corn pop's been taken, oh, actually. Okay. I'm pretty sure. God yeah. bless you guys from Cosmic. I think it was Cosmic Logic. I you could... flew by there. Oh, here we go. Yeah, oh, oh. Oh. oh, he got big. One. We got big. Do we need to reel anything in? We might oh, need to. Oh, okay. it just came off. Oh. Dang. No, he's oh, he... oh, shoot. Or he came back for it. Hey, you want to take if that? You don't mind. Hey, all right, guys, we're going to watch this guy here. He has a big one. <laughs> we'll make sure. Still there? I don't want to. Oh, he's on. I like how you still got the microphone. I don't know why. I'm still, You're still over here talking. <laughs> I'm interviewing myself at this point. Oh, man, I don't even know. Put that flashlight out there. I'm trying to give you my crush today. I'm trying to give you my crush That's awesome. William, thank you for the $1. William G, thank you. You guys should do a catch and fish in all 50 states challenge. Love all you guys keep doing great stuff. I don't stuff. think Ace has the money to do that, actually. <laughs> yeah, hey, Jen. Live stream. Love you back, Jen. If you ever do that, go to the White River in Indiana. That's the best fishing in Indiana. Dude, I'm going to just call you up when I come to Indiana. Hi That's from New happy. Hampshire, fellas. My four-year-old son, Sawyer, loves the channel. He says hi. Hey, Sawyer. No, you mind being on the live stream? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, shark. Nice, man. Sweet. What kind of is it? Like it looks little, like it's Atlantic. Yeah. Atlantic shark nose. Dude, I love this light. That is a nice light. I didn't even need to grab mine, you know? Oh, you can see his eyes. That's pretty cool. Is it showing up pretty good on there? Yeah. You got a good light there, bro. Bring it over here. over here. Oh, yeah. Is he going to bring it around? He's going to bring it around. Oh, sorry. I'm just in the way. I'm gonna just back out of the way, guys, just for a second, and uh, and then oh, nice. It was amazing how many people popped in the light when I'm down here with my cage fishes. I mean, what do you catch on like shark? No, you catch sharks out here. It's the ocean. Like, I've actually seen more sharks caught like on the Isle of Palms coast than like anywhere I've ever been. Yeah. Yeah. Really? yeah, no joke. Like Florida, it doesn't matter where. Like this island, I've seen more sharks caught. Dustin R gives ten bucks. This deserves a donation for all three of us being in one place. We're eight people who write great content. Always look forward to seeing new content. God bless you and your families. Thank you so much, you Dustin. We dinked around with it. <laughs> yes, that did take a little bit of time. Last time. <laughs> I wanted to give it every opportunity to get away. Is that what it was? <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. trying to help it. I was low key uh, Peta there, trying to let it get off. <laughs> Fish are friends, not food. Yeah, that's right. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Cool. <laughs> all right, all right. First shark of the evening wasn't even us. We probably had a shark bite over here while probably. we were. Uh... 
while we were waiting. How'd you have this light, Brad? Um, you, you can have it right there. Or I actually just moved it down, kind of by the pier net, kind of sort of thing. Did you have a point in it? Uh, yeah, and then you complained, so I moved it. Well, yeah, it's too dead gum bright. We have 628. Um, Thanks. I thought we were going to get the bright light <laughs> torture here. Two pounds. There'd be someone out there, ace, single is hard. Single is hard, man. There is somebody out there, Stacy Prince. Stacy like Prince, I like Stacey's that name. That sounds, that sounds like a um, uh, Stacy Prince. That sounds like a, an actor or something. Or a singer. Introducing Stacy Prince. Stacy Prince? Oh, I thought you said Prince, like fingerprints. No, P R I N C, like Prince. Oh, like Prince. party, like it's 1999 kind of a thing. Prince. Like Purple Rain Prince. Dude, Did he Purple sing? Rain. I know he's saying Purple Rain. Okay. All right. We're done with that. Maybe tomorrow night. You'll get the full <laughs> rendition of Purple Rain. I don't even know. I, I do not know what. Um, what Mike is, I, I wash my hands of whatever happens on Mike's live stream tomorrow. It's nothing dirty. <laughs> have we ever gotten, we might have reached PG a time or two. I don't know if we've ever crossed the R threshold. <laughs> PG-13 has been tickled. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, anyway. I from New Hampshire, fellas. My four-year-old son Sawyer loves the channel. You should rap about fish. Rap about fish. Somebody says, where's... Oh, yeah, see, one... Like we're busting them. What, what, busting wants them. to see us. Busting them, busting them, busting them. When the fish hit the surface, we busting them, busting <laughs> them, busting them. We be busting them. When the fish hit the surface, we busting them, busting them, busting them. When the fish hit the tracks, we be trussling, trussling, trussling. Train trussling. Woo! Trussling. <laughs> when we fish in the tracks, we be trussling, trussling, trussling. When the fish start to school, they be busting in, busting in, busting in. Bussin' in, they be bussin' in. When the fish start to school, they be bussin' in, bussin' in, bussin' in. When the fish start to school, they be bussin' in. When we hit in the ice, we be bussin' in, bussin' in, bussin' in. We be bussin' in. When we hit in the ice, we be bussin' in. When we drill through the ice, we be bussin' in, bussin' in, bussin' in. Woo! Bussin' in. Woo! There you go. Please don't tell me that's a real song. I just made that up. Oh. Wow. Bro, you should be. We should DJ Micah. When <laughs> somebody said they love your free stuff, you get that two dollars, okay? Yes. Geo gets buckets. Oh, oh my wow, goodness. man! I thought this was, was a. Epic. I thought this was a real song. I did not think you made that up on the spot. Yeah, I, was dude, like, I made that whole thing yeah, up. Oh my goodness. Good grief! I was really proud of the train yeah, trussling. I, <laughs> I got that to rhyme with busting in. <laughs> oh wow. Dude, that's that's like live stream lore. <laughs> that, that, right that is there. that this goes is down gold. in history. I'm gonna lift that part out. And yeah, it's I want someone to lift that clip. and send it to me. Yeah, because I'm gonna put that on a track, draw yeah. it out like a <laughs> That could be the intro music for your channel. Uh, oh my goodness. Hey Ryan, Ryan is a Falcons fan. Apparently, because Ryan, Ryan, <laughs> Ryan if you don't stop, the... you're gonna get put time out by one of the. Uh, just warning you by one of the moderators. Oh, too oh. late! There he's got. He's been taken. Ryan's been. Ryan's down for 600 seconds or 300 seconds. Oh man. <laughs> gritty. I will attempt the gritty if I catch a. If you catch a fish, you have to hit. The if gritty. I catch a red fish tonight, I will attempt the gritty. There you go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what did he just throw in the water? He threw the shark in. Oh, that's the shark. I was like, it sounded like somebody went over the edge, and I was like, hope oh, that's A nobody body. I liked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard the big splash. I was like, somebody did Peter Pan right I was like, Oh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, guys, we have four lines out, and uh, we just haven't. Um, uh, somebody says I should go to Mexico for fish and women. I am. <laughs> I've always been attracted to Latino women or women from South America, for real, big time. Really? Yes. Latino. I Latino. didn't know that. Mm -hmm. All all the time. Right. All the time. Share that kind of stuff with well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta That's be careful. That's not that, what I our say kind of pillow talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. This. <laughs> no. Hello from Sweden. Sweden. Gritty. So is winning and cleaning business. Greetings from Uruguay. Ooh, Uruguay. Glad you I have been right on the border. Name. I've been right on the border of Uruguay before. I could see it. 
Hello from Oklahoma. Where the wind comes sweeping down the plains. <laughs> how's y'all's day? Somebody said, how's your day, Mike? Yeah, it's been pretty good. Uh, woke up this morning. A rainbow filled the sky? It did, actually. A rainbow filled the sky. Um, that was God telling you? Uh, everything's going to be all right? That's right. That's right. And, uh, you know, woke up, got after some breakfast. You know, uh, for me, oftentimes it's a muffin and some oatmeal with a hot cup of coffee. Uh, loaded up. And then, you know, just really got into business. You know, we knew what we had to come down here and do. Mm. And, uh, you know, we knew we had to get it done. We had to come down and compete. We had to win. And uh, I felt like the guys came out here and did that today. <laughs> and um, now I'm just really proud of how we've handled the live stream so far. And uh, There's a lot of adversity on this live stream. A lot of, yeah, yeah. You know, it wasn't going well at first. Um, and our guys knew that. And we knew what we had to do to kind of turn things around. And so, uh, uh, you know, the coach just kept believing in us. You know, oh, Papa kept believing in us. And, uh yeah, he told us that, and so you know now here we are, and uh, I'm pretty excited, pretty excited to see where this goes, and hopefully we can build on it. You got to give these fish a lot of credit. Yeah, absolutely. You know they played a good game, and uh, yeah, 100 percent credit to them. You know it was uh, we knew going in it was going to be tough, and uh, you know they put it was a hard fought, hard fought battle. But uh, um, right, you, you know. got to hold that thought because we're, I'm missing uh, donations real quick. I'm gonna scroll back through. It was really I was I was intrigued. Yeah, was Huge really fan. I bought some merch. It's awesome. Thank you, Marcus. Nobody bought merch from me. <laughs> Jen, sing instead of a cook-off, Jen said. <laughs> Jen, we'll keep with the cook-offs. Uh, what did she want instead? L uh, she wanted to sing off. Ooh. Alicio says, love your videos. My nine-year-old da daughter, Laura, says hi. All right, those are the three. Just had to get to those. Uh, his new, Mike's new single, Bussin' Them, is kind of be coming out soon. Anyway, uh, what were you saying about, or was it really not important? Should we just no, move I on think to we, something I think else? We, that was all we through that interview. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm interview ready all the time. Yeah, 24 that's 7. True. That's true. I wake up ready for an interview. My life's a movie, man. Your life's like a TV show? Yeah. Like, like a Hallmark show or more like an yeah, AMC show? Look at everybody's like Bussin' Them. Yeah, Bussin' Them. That's what you should have called your boat. Bustin them. SSS bussin. Bustin them. I like how I rhyme bustin them with bussin in. Yeah. Trussling. And then bustin in through the ice. And bustin was... in. Yeah. And bustin them. And you didn't practice that. I kind of think you practiced Threw that. Down, You're just bro. not telling us. You like had that made up in your mind. I could kind of see where it was going. Much love from Kingsport to my three favorite YouTubers. Have a blessed night. Thank oh, you, yeah. LT Tony. Or is it Tony? Probably Tony. They weren't two T O N I. Yeah. Yeah, I before O, except after. Uh, yeah. <laughs> except after so. Yeah, and E before A, as in neighbors and way. Uh huh, something like that. That's the rule. I always yeah. forget that one. Uh huh. You should do a live catch and cook low key. Like, you want us to keep low it on the key? down low? Like, like secret, look around, like, secret live like, stream. Secretly, like, It'd be funny to live stream. Like a in private public. live stream. We should we could do, we could do a live stream in like a real public, busy place. And not tell anybody that you're live streaming. I don't know what would be the point of that would be, but what do you wait, wait, like? Who is older? I am older. Somebody asked if there's a delay. I don't know if I'm delayed or not, Mason. Who knows? Jacqueline says she missed the brothers. Thank oh, you. Oh, Jacqueline. Jacqueline, if you're on Instagram, message me. I owe you a sweatshirt. Because my last people who were making my merchandise didn't come through for you. Oh. So hit me up on Instagram. I owe you a sweatshirt. My bad. They didn't come through, but I have merch. If if you even like any of the merch. <laughs> you may not. You may not like any of it. If you don't, you don't hurt my feelings. But I've been looking for you. Um, so if you want something, message me. I run the whole merchandise thing now. So... Micah okay. Music, somebody said. You should there call you it. go. Micah Music. No, it's nice and simple, man. Like Eminem, Micah Music. Uh -huh, and that exactly. hasn't been used, right? Yeah. No. You're My light just went out. I'll get another one. Up, up, three bad. So much for three hours. An hour and a half. Yeah. We still have some pretty decent light. Now I look kind of mysterious in here. Philip says, what's up, Micah? How's it going, Ace? Bussin' and trussin'. Bro, you've started something. A bussin' revolution here. That's right. On your channel. That's just what I do. Man, I can't believe we haven't got a bite I'm on these. I'm actually surprised, too. I'm surprised. These guys hit, like, three bites guys... and, two, and two sharks. Yeah. They've gotten, like, a bunch of bites over here. Maybe we're fishing off the wrong side of the pier, honestly. 
Henry said, when do you name your sister with... What do you name your sister with one leg? Oh, Eileen. Yeah. And we've heard that. That's a dad joke, pretty much, at this point. Yeah. You are a dad, so... Yeah. I know. Do you, do you have a joke for the audience? Oh, jeez. Uh, I only have one. Oh, I want to hear it. I think I've said it on, on a past live stream before, but it was a while ago. Let's hear it, bro. Hamsters and cigarettes are a lot alike. They're both completely harmless till you stick them in your mouth and light them on fire. That's a classic. <laughs> That's a classic. Because you totally, they have you in the first half, right? Like mm -hmm. you're like, okay. And it's a switcheroo. And then it's the bait and switch, yeah, that all of a sudden it just kind of takes a little <laughs> bit of a dark turn. <laughs> But it's, like, not dark enough to where it's like, oh, that was wrong. You know, I mean, sticking a hamster in your mouth and lighting it on fire to a lot of people might be really wrong. That's hysterical. But, but yeah, for a lot of people, it's just hilarious. Yeah. All right, on another subject, yeah. we're going to switch it up here. Caroline says, love you guys. Micah, how's the wife in pregnancy? So uh, It's going good. I'm fine in the pregnancy. <laughs> pregnancy has been smooth sailing for me. Uh, my wife, however, she's ready to be done. Baby's due in about a month, so she's, like, she's at that point. She's like, oh, I am over. I'm done being pregnant. So thank you for asking. We're kind of flip-flopping back and forth between jokes and serious topics. and uh, like Lighting and hamsters on fire. <laughs> then your wife's pregnancy. And then, then, then serious and then, talk. Then serious advice, relationship stuff. We keep checking the lines, hoping one of them's going to just double Tomorrow, what I, we're going to try to do is well, I'm going to go get some live bait tomorrow. Yeah. We're going to bring some That's live bait out here and see what happens. We failed on the live bait, I'm afraid. Micah couldn't throw a cast net. <laughs> Actually, that's true. No, I threw a cast net. There's nothing out there. I yeah, told y'all we needed to get there at low tide to get the bait. Did we? No. Tide had been coming in for like two hours. And all the bait had moved up into the, into the grasses. <laughs> Does anybody listen to me, though? The person who lives here, no. What we're going to learn today. We're going to learn today. <laughs> Dude, you almost have as many people as I have on a live stream. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh. Oh. So you two guys get oh, Ace, give me that. Give me that. Where's the, the, where's the, where's, where's our, our hot mic? Our hot mic is right there, first so, of all. <clears throat> um, oh, yeah. So, Pops, uh, have you gotten any bites? Uh, yeah, I've had a couple of nibbles. Oh, a couple of nibbles. Okay. Uh, what do you suppose it is down there? This I think it's whitey. Yeah. We're hoping you come through the big nighttime sheep's head <laughs> while we sit here well, and watch the shark lines. Right oh yeah, that's a good idea. Somebody says go Sooners. What do you think about that? Yeah, the Sooners are, from are Oklahoma. garbage. <laughs> they, they um, are. They're pretty bad. I mean, when you get blanked by Texas... <laughs> What was that, 48 to 0? The Red zero? River uh, Showdown. Red River Rivalry, brother. Red River Rivalry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You get blanked by Texas. That's uh, that's not a great way to start the season or end you're, the season. You're going to have to live with that for a year. Think about that. Yeah, yeah. I would not. Uh, One more uh, Yeah, that's right. That's all right. So <laughs> I would not be. Uh, um, I'd probably bury a lot of my Oklahoma stuff and just wait. <laughs> I'd become a closet Oklahoma fan. <laughs> Said the Raider fan. Yeah. Hey, we won this week. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We beat the Texans. James. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we trumped them, man. <laughs> Boom. Put a beat down on that one and three team. Las Vegas Penitentiary Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> it's old, man. That's old. What do you have here? Well, James, Jim, and Jomothy. Jimothy. <laughs> it's a Jimothy. Jimothy. Oh, sorry, sorry. Been waiting to see the reunion. This is Junior Jumpman Dude. Gillett right here. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, this man listens to, uh, to, uh, I didn't know until just now we were having Jim a reunion. Rome show. Yeah. This is kind of a reunion here. Yeah, this is Jimothy right here. Jimothy, what does Jimothy have to say? <laughs> watch all your video, watch all your content with my kiddos daily. Micah, I got your, um, I got you fam, bought some merchandise. Eat it, Ace. Ah! Wow. He made you read that too. <laughs> yeah, I had to read it out loud on my own live stream. <laughs> Dude, that's harsh. That's that is. harsh. That's dark. I've got Somebody two said, words for you, brutal. <laughs> Jim Rome. 
Jimothy. That's where that comes from. I didn't know that Jim Rome uses... All right, hmm. all right. Now we're caught up on live stream. Please try fly fishing. Yeah, when... You know, that'll be a... a cold yeah. day in the hot place. Yeah. <laughs> when I try fly fishing. I've tried live stream... Like, fly fishing a few times. A few times, and... Um, uh, yeah, that's not my sport. It's kind of like no, ice fishing no. isn't my sport. The problem with <laughs> I, the fly fishing is everybody's like, you should see what I caught this weekend. Let me pull out a picture of like a 10-inch bow, and they're like, look at that fought him for 10 yeah. minutes and you're like this guy's getting another bite um you should read the last uh the last uh uh donation read it for the people i'm trying to find it there are a lot of comments rolling in colin says my boys are now singing micah's song wow what song is that it's trademarked <laughs> his bussing it song bussing bussing fishing something yeah like bussing it bussing it bussin micah's new hit know? single i'm bussing it um, you weren't here for that, were you? Oh man, that was a one-off. Maybe tomorrow night on Micah's live stream on High Adventure Videos. <laughs> um, uh, you can find it there. Uh, you, we might, maybe we'll do it again. Somebody just said, do I have Instagram? No, guys, all those, all those, uh, in, there are like five Instagram accounts or something. I think Ethan told me, uh, five Instagram accounts with Ace Videos. Those are all scammers. There's a reason why they have like 30 followers. Because they are just somebody from another country pretending to be me. And uh, they will pre they will message you and say you want a prize, and then say that you need to pay him like fifty dollars in order to get your prize. That sounds like him. <laughs> yeah, that just sounds a greedy like bum. Just what I would do. That's why your channel's tanking, isn't it, huh? I uh, you know no, those are scammers. You know maybe the scammers are tanking my channel. You know oh, maybe. Well, I'm just yeah, it's hard. These How much days. do you pay them a month for that? Scammers? <laughs> I don't. To send those messages, I've heard I that. Don't. It's a rumor. I have. There, heard that. There's no truth whatsoever to any of it. Anyway, if somebody asks for money, that I'm I'm asking you for money in my name, it's it's not me. It's a scammer. So all the Facebook accounts, all the Instagram accounts, all the TikTok accounts, or even a fake Ace Videos TikTok accounts. So all of them are completely fake. Gump says, better not be skipping leg day while you're there. Excited to see some new videos. Cameron from the gym at Kingsport. Hey, Cameron. Cameron. What's Cameron's up? all of Cameron checking out your legs? <laughs> There's something. No, we talked about skipping leg day last time. No, Cameron, <laughs> ignore my brother. Thank nice, you, Juan nice. Yi, for the $5. Um, I'll DM y'all three need to ice fish. Bring back the Idaho days, Jacqueline yes, says. Yes. Bro, you need to hit up I Henry's hate, with me. I hate ice fishing. Ice fishing is the dumbest sport ever. Standing on frozen water with It's the thrill with, of the hunt. With a tiny drilling a tiny ice hole and lowering down little maggots on tiny hooks for a little <laughs> little Oh, uh, it's dumb. It's so dumb. I hate ice fishing. Dude, I'm telling you, there's nothing better than when you're out there and like you're just smoking them through the ice hole. It's <laughs> phenomenal. Like when you're sitting there and like you're just pulling them up, just bam, 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 bam. I mean, I've been out there. I've had days like that where it's just, it's one after another and uh, it's incredible. You need to give it another try. Somebody asked, what is your opinion on Tennessee beating Alabama? Tennessee beating Alabama, I think it, I think it confirms what I thought for a long time that Alabama is, is not, Alabama isn't the team that they typically are. You know, they have a, they have a, uh, they, they have a, an okay defense. They have a decent defense. Their offense without Bryce Young is pretty bad. Look at that guy getting another bite. That's ridiculous. We're sitting here, and we haven't gotten anything. That's because I think we're all fishing off that side. We need to probably do what he's doing and throw it, you know, directly straight out. I'm gonna do that. Right I now. think that's a you great take idea. The camera. Think, so do you think that Alabama deserves number six, or are they still? Yeah, I think them? Alabama. I like them at six. Um, honestly, I think they have a hard time. I think they'd have a hard time beating Tennessee again, and I think they have a hard time with Georgia. But I'm not a huge fan of Georgia's offense, and um, uh, but Georgia's got that defense, right? So uh, Alabama's just not that team of the. You know, it's not a, a t uh, Alabama team of yesteryear, right? So decent defense. They don't have very good wide receivers. Decent running back that's kind of coming into his own. But without Bryce Young, I think Alabama would have lost to Texas. And I think they would have lost uh, uh, Texas A&M as well. I think Alabama would probably be sitting somewhere around like 12 or 13 right now without Bryce Young. So 
Um, they're going to have to figure out the quarterback situation, that's for sure. But uh, it'd be kind of nice to see somebody else win the national title. Maybe like my Tigers. Go Tigers. Clemson. Go Orange. Anyway, uh, this year. However, uh, the Tigers aren't very great on offense. So it's uh, got a phenomenal defense. Offense is shaky at best. I like Ui Ungalale, but uh, the man just – I'm. Uh, let's put it this way. I'm more excited for Cade next year. Klobnik. Isn't that an awesome last name? I just wanted to say that. Anyway. There you go. It's kind of a weak sauce cast, but if you want to call that a cast, go for it. Ohio State, the Buckeyes, cakewalk through 95% of their season. Who do they play? Well, you just switch conferences, man. Do yourself a favor. You know, you guys split with the ACC, though. That's always a good battle. Whenever they play like Clemson, it's been like back and forth. Yes. So, but I don't. I just don't ever trust Ohio State, man. Now, do you guys? Do you guys play Michigan this week, or is that coming up? No, it's the very last game. Oh, is it the very last game? Okay, that's always a fun one. But you guys have owned Michigan too, though. Like what? They won last year for the first time in what? Like, yeah, 12, 13 years. And and Harbaugh was brought in to beat Ohio State, and he's done that once in what five years? So, so, and I don't see Michigan. Michigan's got a good run game, but that's it. Ohio State's a pretty well-rounded package, at least for your guys' division. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So I would expect Ohio State, obviously, to be probably one or two by the end of the I'm season. Not a, I'm not a CJ Stroud fan. You're not a Stroud fan. I'm not a fan of any quarterback from Ohio State because you look at it historically in the NFL, they're cheeks, man, kind of like USC quarterbacks. There's only one quarterback. If you can get a good coach. Who? Fields. Justin Fields. Oh, Justin Fields. If he could get a good coach, he would take off phenomenally. It was fun watching the Bears beat the Patriots last night. I'm not are they yeah. Yeah, today's Tuesday. That was fun. So everybody's asking for the fish. Hey Ace, where are the fish? Um, I now cast it out to where they are. Oh, he just cast it to where they were. Uh-huh. They're coming soon. There you go. I, I got confused about where they were. We had donation. When is the next eating only what I catch for three days challenge? Um. Hey, yeah, you good, guys night. Have a good night. Guys. Nice yeah, guys, what have was, a good what night. What was your name? Dustin. Dustin, nice yes. to meet you, Dustin. We'll probably see you around, man. <laughs> yeah, we'll be out here for a few days. We're just gonna camp out on this pier for like the next right, four dude. days and just. I'm gonna uh, bring an air mattress out here. <laughs> and it's uh, happening. Just fish. And this is we just got here, by the way, guys. If you're wondering. Um, uh, we got here this afternoon, so that's yeah, why we it's kind of a nighttime live stream. We'd prefer to live stream during the day, but um, we just got here late, so, you yeah. know. Wild pickle air mattress. That sounds wrong, actually. I don't like that. Don't like anything <laughs> about that. Um, we need, need to do a wild 72 hour pure live stream challenge. 72 hours, that's even a lot for me. As long as you guys don't mind watching me sleep. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. would be weird to have, you know, that'd be weird to like wake up and be like, there were like 900 people watching me sleep <laughs> and I made like $2,000. This is weird. This is real weird. But it might be a new source of income. <laughs> Maybe need to give it a try. Just live stream for three out of the four days, three out of seven days a week. <laughs> there, there are seven days in a week, not four. Yeah, typically, typically. <laughs> That's usually uh, your work week, though, isn't it? Especially since you're your channel on the decline. Uh, let me take the camera back real <laughs> quick. I'll make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, when's the next challenge? I have not filmed one, and I don't have any plans for one, basically. But I will... Um, those are hard. I probably should do they one are, more this year. They're really so difficult to film and do. It, and have you like, ever tried to do a task, like a really hard task, for three days in a row all day? And not even like, like even if you say, oh, I worked a 12-hour shift at work, it's still 12 hours. You have the other 12 hours off. When you're filming for 72 hours, like you're not taking any time yeah, off. Literally. It gets by the third day, you are beat. Because so. even like when you're going to bed, you're already planning on when to wake up to start filming like the yeah, next day. Yeah. So like you're going to bed and you're already thinking like, okay, I need to be up by six because the tide's coming in or I need to get shots of, cause we need to morning fish. Cause the striper are, it's a hot bite in the morning. So, I mean, you're all, you're like, con it's yeah, like constant for yeah. 72 hours. And then yeah. a lot of times you go to bed hungry on yeah. those challenges. And so then you wake up and you're like, exhausted. on your channel, maybe. And then <laughs> I eat like a flipping what? King. dude. <laughs> so we have like uh three three days 
um, of really hard. You just you're just beat by the third day, you're and then you have to like edit. Beat like a redheaded stepchild. Exactly, beat like a redheaded stepchild, and uh, you also have to then edit three days worth of footage, which is a beast to try <laughs> to sift through. Imagine filming like no joke on your GoPro. Now you have 25 hours of footage to sift yeah. through and try to make a video. Like, it's like, all right, now find the highlights. <laughs> yeah, now find the highlights in 25 hours of footage. So that's why, let's see, how many of you made three-day challenges? Three-day challenges? Dude, okay, so one of them I made was uh, ice fishing, actually. That, oh. that was probably the most physically challenging video. Wow. Ice fishing, three days eating a load of catch. That was so, that was incredibly difficult. Um, I think I've only made, I think I've made two, two, two or three. I've made four. Okay. So between us. Hey, Jules is in the chat. Hey, What's Jules. Up, Jules? Uh, so we've had um, six videos in all these years between us. That's how hard they are. And they get tons of views, but like they're our it's best videos. It's lovely for views, yeah. But it's, it's grueling to to uh, make the video, so that's why we... And, we, and that's the thing, like, we don't, like, cheat on it. Yeah, no, it's, it's not real. like, oh, I'm going to go film a day and then go back and, like, and, like grab some I'm eating McDonald's off camera. Yeah, sleep at home. And then I'll go back and film another day of it here in a couple of days. It's like, no, like... It's a dedication. It's the three days of dedication. It's like, no, this is going to be the real thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I don't have, like, Big Macs hidden in the boat. <laughs> yeah. We're, like, off camera, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I catch a snake, I eat it. It's like, <laughs> yeah. hallelujah, food. Mm -hmm. Yo, Mike, I'm a producer. Let's make a bussin' song for real, bro. Rap name H-A-V Mike. I'm a platinum album before I'm 30. Dude, I I've heard that you, you know, these YouTubers, you've seen some YouTubers that have, like, 200 million views on their personal song. And they post it to iTunes. Boom. And they get a bunch of, yeah. I like it. You're going to be rich making music. And you were like, I started as a catch and cook channel. Now started I'm as a fisherman. Music. Started as a fisherman. No. I'm going to check my bait real quickly. Yeah, I think I'm you really should. Because my other, my, one of mine, the hooks was picked clean. Probably from crabs. Kathy asks, you guys should have a, bo or says you should, should have a boxing match. Mike <laughs> says that too. Or Mick says. Somebody put Mick in, uh, in timeout. I love my moderators. They are on it. Um, uh, <laughs> um, you should go agree. Your, your bait's gone. I've thought so. Get me ancient on the mixtape. Yeah, see, I want to have a have a little line or something in there too, even though I can't sing. That doesn't matter these days. You hear these rappers. Oh, yeah. Uh, what what's another one? Uh, uh what's the one? Okay, gangster, or something like that. No, 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 no. Let's let's rewind. <laughs> pretend like that never happened. All right. I know you're white, but we don't have to flaunt it. <laughs> so Gabriel gives two dollars. I'll hit the gritty. Uh, guys, only if I catch a redfish this evening will I attempt the gritty. I've never attempted that gritty. Oh, we out Chia is here. Dude, we out Chia is here. Johnny. You can get Johnny on your rap thing. Johnny uh, would rap. How I get my ices. Dude, I already know Johnny's <laughs> hand. You know what, Johnny? Oh, he says, Johnny. how I get my ices, bread come in loaves, not yeah, slices. Yeah, dude, you never heard that bar from me? Oh, when yeah, no, I was watching. all this ices? Yes, because my was... bread comes in loaves and not slices. Yeah, I was watching that one. I forgot I about that. I just thought, Johnny, you know what your rap name should be? Asian Zing. <laughs> tell, don't you tell me that that is not the best idea in the world. <laughs> Johnny, for those of you who don't know, in my last live stream, Johnny was Japanese, Chinese, Portuguese, um, probably Hindu. They were, everybody could He's not figure Asian. it out. Yes, yes. But, oh my gosh. Asian? Dude. So, so what, what was your name again? Your, your, your chant? Your oh, I don't know. Handle? It was going to be like Music Micah featuring yeah. Asian Zing. Call me Big Mac. <laughs> nah, I'm not fat. Um, <laughs> it's like a... I thought he was Hispanic. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> I thought Johnny was Hispanic. Johnny's Hispanic. Dude, I'm just telling you right now. Johnny, when you go big as Asian Zing, I just want you to remember me. Remember where this came from. There's got to be a few people like, that's really insensitive. <laughs> oh... DJ Mental Micah. <laughs> DJ mm. Mental Micah. It would, uh, yeah, it'd fit, but it, it wouldn't be. Uh... <laughs> what? What are you trying to say? That guy uh, keeps getting bites. Over know, and we haven't dude. gotten any bites. We haven't gotten any bites over here, guys, but that guy's getting bites like every five minutes. 
Uh, cook off. Cook mm. off. I'm actually doing a cook off. Tomorrow, I think we're going to try to do a cook off. Yes, is that sir? what you want to do for your channel? Ooh, ooh. Mike's yeah. video tomorrow, my video the next day. Are you doing a cook off on your channel, stream. Ace? Um, I wouldn't. <laughs> Probably, maybe if you want to. Yeah, yeah. It's Weber, not Weber. Ace's new name is a Little Weber. A little Weber. <laughs> little Weber. I like that. <laughs> actually, I like that a lot. A little Weber, that's actually not too bad. I could, I could feel that. See, uh, I talked to a guy whose last name was W E B E R, and he said it's Weber. That was his last name. Yeah, but you're trying to pronounce it Weber. It's Weber. You know, it's Weber, but I'm saying he said it was Weber. And then I had mm -hmm. um, suspect. I had Highly Jen suspect. completely betray me. Completely. Your Is betrayal. That's. Hey guys, hey guys, Oh man, we guys, these guys got more bites, guys. We ain't, we ain't into nothing over here, except what, what, Mike is rapping. What do you say to this? Okay, hit me with it. We throw hit them off the pier. The, yeah, we could. I don't know. Oh, we, there are three of them. We could take them. Probably. We, I don't know, dude. My eyesight this time of night's not that great. <laughs> I'd probably end up throwing you off the pier. Fish on. Oh man. He's got another fish on, man. Uh -huh. uh, we gotta get the light out. We get the light out. Oh, here's me, oh, Angie. If you guys haven't seen him. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, Sabrina says I missed her super chat. I'm going to scroll back and find it. Yeah, Watch Nigel me. Nigel also, he, he, he proclaims that fly fishing is the bomb. Nigel McNeil. Oh, he says fly fishing is the bomb. Not in so many words, but basically. I'm looking for Sabrina's super chat. I took the camera over, I may have missed a few lines. <laughs> oh. Hey, Mike, could you shine the light? Like, kind of show us what we're going to got here? Oh, yeah, 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 right, right. Thank you, sir. We're getting the pier net out. All right, pier net is coming out. Just haul like a big shark up, you know, 20 feet. I've missed some super chats. I really hate that. Sorry, is Mui. Blame me, because I own it. Red fish, red fish. <laughs> I thought Micah was older, somebody said. Somebody thought you were older, man. Wow, that hurts. <laughs> hey, somebody said top quality cinematography. I really doubt that. Could you uh, shine the light on the on these guys here? Yeah, see, because they're looking at the guys. They can't see out there. Thank you, sir. Somebody says to steal. Mick, Mick has been timed out a bunch tonight. This guy's got a big fish, guys. This guy's got a big fish. I'm excited to see what this is. Thank you, Mandy. I appreciate that. Do y'all get along, Zach? Zach, we were home teached for our whole lives. We spent like every hour together growing up. Um, every day. Not every hour, but every day. And so, you might say we get along a little bit. <laughs> Another shark. This guy's, what, is this your fourth shark or something like that? And two big red fish, and Mike and I have caught zero. If you guys are just logged in. If you guys are counting, looking for an update from us. Oh, I th no, I thought it was. That's a good one. Getting it in that pier. Pier nets are way harder than they think because you have the three prong, three ropes that keep it out. And you got the current and everything. Oh! oh under the. Ooh. Oh, hopefully he doesn't get cut off. Is he? Oh, there he's we go. got him on there. He's, he's there working we go. him. Oh, I got Dude, you're pulling a me, man. This is. Oh, now he's back over here. Maddie says she's been following for at least three years now. Thank you, Maddie. Brother versus brother cook-off, somebody says. Emmanuel says you guys should do a fishing challenge, like the collab with Zach. 
<gasps> he's almost got it. He's almost oh. got it. Oh, he's almost in. Yes, there we go. Yes. Woo. Nicely nice. done. Nicely done. That's teamwork the right net. there. In the <laughs> nice. Very nice. That's that beautiful like shark. I love the white spots. Yeah. <laughs> stringer of sharks yeah. off the end of it. <laughs> we haven't even gotten a bite over here. Yeah. Your sides is, uh, your guys' bait. And what are you guys using for bait? Uh, Benita. Oh, Benita. Oh, that's why we aren't. We're, we're using mullet. Frozen. You were the one that picked the mullet. Uh, I'm I sorry. I was Benita. the one. That, I got Actually, you. <laughs> I, I have no idea what it was. <laughs> <laughs> that's well, tomorrow it. night for my live stream, we'll use Benita. <laughs> Wow. That's terrible. That was awesome. Well done. <sighs> oh, yeah, man. Absolutely. Oh, wait. This line is slack. This line is slack. It has something on it. It has something. Can somebody hold the camera, please? Okay, hold the camera. Miss. Holy cow, dude. That is slacker than slack. Did you give them a light? Yeah, she. she oh, okay. Oh. No way. It's gone. Oh, my word. It's gone. The whole shebang. Dude, I told you throw it. Oh, it ate the whole thing, huh? The whole thing. Wow. You know what might do something like that? Yeah. It says now Ace has to hit the gritty. Uh, I don't think you <laughs> celebrate. Only, I said only the gritty is when you Thank celebrate. you, Sabrina. Hey, Did you, you share your mom's coal saw? Yeah, you know what? We'll have to find out about that. Yeah. You mind if I throw mine off? Of yeah, yeah, you throw yours off. I, I mean, we can both reel it in. Dang it. Well, shark. Probably a shark. On. Redfish don't have that big a teeth. They probably don't. They don't do that. Oh, well, <laughs> there we go. That is, that's a really nice looking shark. Do you have the fruit? Oh, wow. Yeah, it does have lovely spots. Lo the white spots. Could you? Thanks, Baba. Very nice. Very cool. cool. The Bonita is getting it done. Yes, it is. <laughs> That was a swan dive. <laughs> That's like the biggest thrill that shark will ever have in his life. Right He's going back and telling the whole fa friends and family. Right? He, just, oh. he just got beamed up to the mothership. Is what happened. <laughs> He's going to tell him. He's like, I got a story for you guys. You won't believe what just happened to me. A tale or two to tell. <laughs> I like the pun. <laughs> You're welcome. I, I appreciate that you recognize. <laughs> he, he's full of it. Ah, oh, them. He's full of it. Yeah. <laughs> My dad's gonna real, sit, kick back, and relax. You tried really hard with shrimp, and you would think shrimp at night off a pier, we would uh, be able yeah. to catch something. <laughs> I had several bites, but I just couldn't. It was something small, whatever it was. It was small. Mm -hmm. So anyway, yeah. yeah, it's a beautiful night out here. A little chilly, a little chill in the air, but it's nice. Oh. Let's see, what do we, oh, there's Sean. Paul, that dude just Fire struck on. that, just <laughs> stuck that shark toss. <laughs> yeah. It was, the shark like took it like a yeah. dive in. Hey, Maddie. So what's your real name? My real name. Not your fake one, your real one. But not me ancient. Huh? Oh, wow, that's amazing. Oh. I took the lens off. It's way, way clearer. Oh, there you go. My lens is dirty. Ah. Um, Toby, five dollars. Love watching Thank you, Toby. Videos. Appreciate oh, cool. that. Enjoyable Thank you. content. Yeah, that is nice. Um, so what was the question again? What, what is your real name? My real name. Should I choose to divulge it? Um, have a nom de plume. <laughs> have a what? Nom de plume. Oh. That's uh, Irish, I think. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. What is this person? Who's that? We... I try to keep it clean. We, we out... Wait, wait. Okay. We out Chia. Use a sabiki rig for bait, he says. You know, I, if we had one, I'd try it. You know what, John? Johnny. Wow. Sorry, Johnny. Yeah. You know, we need to figure out a YouTube name and how to fish as well. We need to figure out how to fish. We also <laughs> you need to figure out a name, an internet name for my dad. Well, it's me ancient. That works. Me ancient. Yeah, yeah okay. That's it. Me ancient. <laughs> Does that have anything to do with feathers? 
<laughs> oh, okay. Just, just curious. It's French. It's oh, French. Okay. It's okay. French. Okay. Oh, do we miss it? Parlez Super chat. Parlez. What? I Isn't don't know if Sean? I missed. Oh, was that? Oh, I did. Okay, just make sure we didn't miss something. What else do we have here? Let's see. All right, so we got to see. Sup, Ace. What you fishing, tot? Somebody just call me a tot, really? It's tot. See, I don't know. I don't like the people being. People are, are <laughs> saying because I don't get the uh, the acronyms and this shortened, whatever. So, and it's. I've had people catch me, catch me laughing too. They put like two names apart. Yeah. Wish me happy for this guy happy birthday. And I'll say it. They troll you. Oh yeah. man. They have oh, compilations yeah. of YouTubers getting trolled on live streams. I got hit pretty good. This yeah, time. pretty. Oh yeah. Yeah. We won't go back to that though. Was it not repeatable? Or was it funny? It was kind of funny. But <laughs> if it's not clean, I'm trying to yeah, keep it 100% clean here. It was hilarious. Just imagine it. <laughs> okay. Well, what are you using? We are using um, We're using mullet. mullet. And frozen shrimp. mullet. Frozen mullet, shrimp. frozen shrimp. The exact opposite of bait you want to use at night. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm surprised yeah. that, like, we need a... Um, we need a bait fish. I feel like we got a bait fish. You know what? Right Maybe I should make. Of that course, my I did just get snapped up. To Pops, go. I'm gonna have to have oh, you yep. take the camera. Oh, yep, we got it. Because. Hey y'all. I'm gonna retire. Come back to Hawaii. Oh, Sorry, we're Bob. hoping to fix your hat. What am I fixing my hat? There are trollers in the. Um. They, these guys troll the comment section so we hear. They'll try to make you think something. Oh, right, right, right. Your real name is Papa. There you go. That was for many, many years, that's for sure. Do y'all know where me ancient came from? You know, have you seen that video? That's kind of a... I'll take a bell. That's kind of a fun... Um, uh, we're fishing for sharks. We're fishing for uh, redfish. We're at the end of a pier in South Carolina. Um, Used to go out quite a ways oh, farther, um, but uh, please, I don't know, my son Chase Griffin is watching. <laughs> hey Chase, he's seven. Good to see you. Thank you for watching. Hello, Brisbane. Me ancient for president. Yeah, no, nope, don't want it. Um, oh boy, somebody speaking in another language. Hi from Nashville. Sup, man. Hey, Landon. Um, uh, let's see here. Yeah, MRE. There you go. I, we're going to cut another MRE video here pretty soon too and get that posted. I've uh, had some good uh, good MRE sent to me. Um, have we forced, for, fished the East Fork? No, I haven't. Any snapper? Not this time yet. Favorite MRE? Boy, that that's a tough one. Yeah, I, I, what is yeah. your favorite MRE? You know, I love those squid MREs. Man, I, those, oh, those, those, were those good. Italian uh, uh, squid, man, they were good. Squid in its own ink. That was, that was right along there for me. Um, me Ancient. Yeah, you know where Me Ancient came from? The, um, there's a... Uh, British show. Well, there's a British show. Oh, we've got We Out Chia, $2. Pops, you look like a Lynn. What is that? How much was this? You look like a Lynn. We could be related. Yeah, no, man. I Hmm, I wonder who that Chia person is. Um, anyway. Um, yeah, uh, oh, thank you for the dollar, Calvin. That's very nice. Uh, Charles Dickens, his first novel is called uh, Pickwick Papers. And in Pickwick Papers, one of the main characters, his name is Sam Veller, he calls his father Me Olden or Me Ancient. Me Ancient and My Old One. My Old One, yeah. My, my Old One and Me Ancient. So It sounds better British because it's yeah, like Me definitely. Ancient. Yes, yes. Monty Python, yes, yes. Monty Python's Flying Circus. That was a big deal when I was a kid. Um, anyway, other siblings. Uh, do I have other siblings, or do my sons have other siblings? Not sure what you, what you, what you're asking there. Sean Marks, ten dollars. Thank you, Sean. It's very nice. Hit the gritty. Hit the gritty. <laughs> yeah. How's this for me, ancient MRE? There you go. What character do I relate to in the book the most? Hmm. Sam Probably Sam. Well, yeah. Dad. Well, no, I like Sam himself. Yeah. Sam, Sam. Wise Gamgee? No. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. Sam Pick Weller. Pickwick Papers, man. Come oh, on, catch oh, up. Oh. Cut, catch up. Bob uh, is more like Andal. There's my. There you go. 
Does Micah, do, do Micah and Ace have a brother? They do, they have two brothers. They have two brothers, they are not YouTubers. Um, Boise State in Oklahoma in the Tostito Bowl. Oh yeah, we remember that one. We, <laughs> we live yeah, off we, of that, yeah. <laughs> basically. <laughs> Yeah. All the Boise lives off of yeah, that. Yeah, that was, that's some fun stuff. It's funny, I'll go anywhere I go if I'm wearing my Boise shirt. I went to a Tennessee game uh, against Florida, and uh, people, I wore my Boise State shirt, and people were commenting, saying uh, they they didn't care for Boise State, didn't know who Boise State was, but one, once Boise State beat Oklahoma, they have liked Boise State ever since. I get that comment all the time. Oh, yeah. um, I have a daughter as well, yes. Sean Hall, another $5. Which of my boys caused me the most trouble? Mm, oh boy, now a that's, a, that's a really good question. That's um, not really a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I would say Mind Adventures, $10. Thank you, father, son, group hug. <laughs> that's gonna be tough on camera. Um, uh, who caused us the most trouble? Well, as young men, young bo as boys, I would say the oldest son caused us the most trouble. He was the most uh, headstrong. And then we found out later too, he had hearing problems. His ears were all plugged up. So we never could decide if he couldn't hear us and he was being belligerent or he's just belligerent. But some of it was just belligerency, I'm sure. But some of us, some of it, he maybe couldn't hurt us. So, uh, but anyway, we, um, yeah, we, that he would be, and Ace was the most compliant. Ace was the most compliant. I was, a, I was an angel. No, he wasn't an angel by any means, but um, I was, I was an angel. he was a good kid. Uh, pretty easy to get along with. Um, uh, let's see, and what else? Uh, Micah was the next bullet, most belligerent. He was just, he could be a, a little pill. Um, and then, uh, no, Micah. He, M Micah, Micah would get in his zone when he was little. Uh, I'll have to save those for, for when you do your own live stream. But I'm going to tell some yeah. stories on his live stream. There you go. Let me tell you a tale of ships and whales. Doodle 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 doodle. There you go. You're welcome about your service. You bet. How old is Ace? He's 30. He's 30. Um, no, yeah, right. No surprise about Micah. How long can I hold my breath? You know what? I, I can, I can swim underwater with a good breath, about 140 feet. So I, but I don't know how long that. You know, I don't know how how long that is. I just know how far I can go, and that's in the pool. That's what I'm doing in my pool. So I have to turn around. But um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's somebody. Got a bite, guys. Yeah, I think they're getting a lot of bites. Yeah, I do too. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, are you going to make a fishing YouTube channel? I don't know. It's a lot of work. I'm kind of old, and the the work thing, um, uh, the, the, not the, the work, I love fishing, but the, the fact of the matter is making fishing videos is really, really tough. Uh, people don't understand that, um, but it really is, uh, it, not only is it tough fishing sometimes, and I mean, it can take a long time to do any good fishing, but um, uh, you don't know how many times the guys go out and sometimes I'm with them and they'll go for a day or two or three and, and they just, there's nothing to put a video together with. So you kind of get, get to see the highlight reel of their life, really. That's kind of the, the truth of it in a lot of ways. I always catch them, though, when I go. Yeah. Yeah, my life <laughs> yeah. is a highlight reel. Yeah, their whole lives are highlight reels. So, but anyway, that's really not true. Um, <laughs> I like how he just, the way he's doing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's really not true. Yeah, they just lied. Uh, but, they, but then what happens is for every half hour of video you watch, they're probably in their studios 12 hours editing, something like that, putting music to it and mixing it all. And I don't... I don't have the patience for that. So, Al Ace Alicia, really thank you. Acting. It doesn't take me that long. <laughs> Liam and Kaiser, I'm glad to see you're watching. Thank you guys. My son Mo loves you guys. Oh, thank you, Mo. Um, what do we I'm going to do something, guys. I'm okay. going to add a, a lens to the screen. Dude, if your phone starts running low on battery, I've got stuff to plug it into, too. I appreciate that. Yeah. Are we good? Oh, no. There we go. There we go. I had to clean right, it off. Sorry about that. What, are we, what kind of shark? We are fishing for every kind of shark we Bonnet can catch. Head. And Mo Bonnet. Lester, I'm glad you like our videos. Thank you. Bonnet. You're welcome about the service. Um, uh, I was in, uh, uh, I was in, in fact, 40 years ago right now, my wife and I were, uh, we out Chia. Try a smaller hook and wow. a piece of mullet, another $2. Thank you. Appreciate it, um, $2. How old am I? Golly, that's kind of personal, Johnny, isn't it? 63. Um, <laughs> Mike says, Johnny, stop telling us how to fish. <laughs> 
uh, Trinidad. Uh, we met some guys from uh, yeah. from the Caribbean. I don't remember exactly where they were from, but what, Jamaica. They were, Jamaica. That's right. You're talking about the Miami boat. boat yeah, show. at the Miami boat show. Yeah, they came up. Oh, we know who you are. <laughs> that was kind of <laughs> that fun. Was so funny from Jamaica. Really, yeah, it was exciting. And they happened to be Jamaica. in my Jamaica, yeah. man. Well, uh, when I'm with Mike at his house watching football, we root for the Raiders, which, you know, whatever. But, um, <laughs> but uh, uh, I. I've liked the Bucks. I'm a little disappointed lately, of course, the last couple, three games. But um, I don't really have a big NFL uh, yeah, Father team. Father Time just snuck up behind Tom Brady with his <laughs> old wizard stick, just beat him over the head, buffeted him about. Wow. Mm. Uh, anyway, well, yeah, I'm 63. Yeah, And you know what? I, I got to say, hey, Pakistan, I had my eyes. I had Lasix done. So I don't wear glasses anymore. And I'll tell you. Oh, I mm. missed him. Asa just missed a fish. Asa's just trying to add um, something interesting. My biggest trout, six pounds. I used to have the family record, but it didn't last long. Ace broke, um, didn't he? Yeah, I think. Pounder? Yeah, Ace broke, bought it, got a seven pounder. So, Ace, there's a, there's a, somebody's a scammer in the comment section. Wow. That's too bad. Um, me Ancient is a perfect name. It is for me. It is for me. Thank you. Um, Tom Brady is loves. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm gonna stop just reading things out. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're at, you're at a cursory read it before you get. I I am the taller of of all my family actually. My brothers and my sister and uh, my father and uh, and my sons. I actually ended up being taller. Wait, we just had a super chat. Hang on just a second, guys. Let me go. Uh, Miko Fisher, five dollars. Thank you so much. That was very nice. What's my t favorite type of fishing and Favorite type to eat? Oh boy, favorite type of fishing. If I'm ocean fishing, uh, you know, I love going out in the kayak and dragging uh, fresh octopus behind us. Uh, that's a lot of fun because you, you, there's so many fish you can catch. That's cool. Uh, as far as what I like to eat the best, um, you know, Kali, what do I like? I like uh, Uku, Ono, I like, um, oh, you know, that. Uh, yeah, probably Uku or Ono is my favorite. That'd be my guess. So, he's <laughs> two more dollars. Ask the guy behind if we can buy bait. Now, oh, there you go, if we can buy some bait from him. <laughs> Who's my favorite son? Oh, boy, that's a great question. How does that work? I'm trying to figure out how, like... I would never answer that because I don't have a favorite son. No kidding. I, uh, I... Oh, yeah! What happened? It wasn't me. What is it? It dropped and it fell. Through. What fell? It was a uh, bell. Oh, a I thought it was a cell phone. Okay, it was a bell. That's okay. Oh, that, that's all right. <laughs> Love your family's YouTube channel. Thank you. God bless. You. Thank you guys. We appreciate that. Um, the Ohio State. Yeah, right. Uh, uh, what <laughs> the easiest is... schedule in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, my goodness, I'm from Kentucky. Love watching. You don't look 63. Oh, you're too kind, too kind. Thank you. Um, let's see here. Are you? I don't understand that comment. Love your MRE videos. Thank you. I do have a little channel myself. Uh, my favorite Bible scripture. Oh, golly. That... Uh, that varies, you know. I, we're always reading. Depends on what phase of life. You're yeah, in. yeah, yeah. It depends on what's going on and what's happening. Um, um, I think one of the one of my favorites, which is, might seem kind of weird, but uh, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, because that kind of sets the table for the whole conversation of, of you know, we're we're all bad, we're all sinners, and uh, thank you, Henry McDonald and Vision, uh, um, but um, and Silverback for the dollar. Uh, but uh, yeah, all of sin and fall short of the glory of God. I, right now, because I'm reading Romans, just read that the other night. That's pretty cool. Uh, just reminds us that uh, we all need, uh, in order to be made right with God, we all need a Savior, and that's Christ. So uh, doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, young or old. That's that's the human condition. But uh, they want more MRE videos. We'll come after that. Get some more MRE videos. Um, we saw the Appalachian State Mountaineers. Uh, yeah, stadium. we saw the college. The, yeah, yeah the stadium. not a game, but we cool. went to the stadium. Yeah, we saw the stadium. That was kind of fun. Hope we can come to Costa Rica sometime. <laughs> Costa Rica. Yeah, we've been talking about it. Yeah, um, talking about the Caribbean. Yeah, yeah. Are we ever going to meet Mrs. Me Ancient? Mrs. Ancient. Yeah, well, Nate, number one, she... not if we call her that. Yeah, um, she's not going to like being called. 
that. Yeah, but I would say that um, there are... There may be something in the works yeah, if, yeah, we, if yep. she wants to yep, do it, but right. we'll see that's if she right. actually wants to. That's right. That's right. And we are up in South Carolina now, so this is up here in South Carolina off of uh, where we Isle Palms. So uh, that's where we are. hope that wasn't wrong for me to say that. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Mind Adventures, five dollars. Thank you. <laughs> for the bell, Mike had dropped. <laughs> Mike, we just got a donation to compensate for the bell you just dropped from the pier. No, you did. <laughs> Somebody just yeah. I didn't drop it. Oh, no, you I didn't drop. Sweden. Oh, hey, there on, you go. Wait, where do you? Where should I put this on a rod like they this? They say come back to Maine and bring pops and ace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah the main trip down. was just me going yeah. down exploring. Yeah. Um, and uh, and it was just like a little exploratory trip. We'll probably go back there for sure, yep. and uh, yep. next year. So depends on what kind of bass fishing you're doing. If you're lake fishing or river fishing, and what time of year it is. There's so many things that way. I tell you, just get on uh, just get on uh, uh, YouTube, and you can find so many cool ideas and so many uh, great ideas for. Uh, uh, oh, oh yeah! Okay. Oh, what? Jeez, dude, those, bell work, those bells work like a champ. Yeah, I just wanted to put it on. I was like, he just got nailed. Okay, let's switch it. Hey, how do I switch over there? I think that's it. Yeah, I just needed the bell. That's, that's we didn't need to change the bait. I just that's needed right. a bell on it. Bell, I just got to mine. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. I don't know what you're going to do. You're going to attach you, baby. I'm sitting there looking at it. That's how you... You couldn't you couldn't attach the bell because the rod was moving too much. Walleye is my favorite freshwater fish to eat. Ace, what was that? Come on, man. Let's get it. I got, a, cir I got a circle hook, so that's why I really oh, like whack it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to always do that with a circle hook. If you take anything away from tonight's live stream, you have to really set the hook on a circle hook. <laughs> when you're fishing with that circle hook. I mean, lay waste to that fish. No regard for human life when you jerk that thing. Creek, pond, ocean, river. Oh, boy. That, I, I, tell, I like all kinds of fishing. I love to be in a boat. That's my favorite way to do. Um, you know, I did see a UFO when I was younger. I, I saw a UFO when I was in Idaho. I was doing windshields one night, and uh, it actually went into the night. And I'll tell you all about it if you want to hear about it. Oh, look at there. We'll pour one out for the mullet. I wasted a good whiskey on a mullet. Wow. Juan Y says, or Juan Yi says, Ace was acting like he was fishing. <laughs> Did they ever get into fights? Did you guys ever fight when you were boys? Ne never. <laughs> never. <laughs> like the best uh, I, I'm saying nothing. I, that's why I asked you guys. Oh, uh, anyway. Oh, UFO story. Yeah. So while well, they're they're UFO story. Oh yeah. Yeah. What I got. My dad saying? So anyway, hey, this is a. <laughs> <laughs> True story here. This, this, I hope you find this interesting. So I'm driving home. I was, we lived in uh, Idaho at the time. And if you've ever been to southern Idaho, it's just like, uh, it used to be a big lake bed where the Snake River Canyon runs through it. And um, a lot of people want the three days only what I, what you uh, uh, can uh, catch and cook there is. Anyway, so we, uh, <laughs> Hold on, I gotta turn you guys around. Tisha Key, ten dollars. Love you, Micah. Wow. Hey, listen to that. Did you hear that? Tisha McKee gave ten dollars and said, "Love you, Micah." So I. <laughs> Love you too, Tisha. I'm keeping the ten dollars though. <laughs> hey, Tisha, don't donate to his channel. We're for tomorrow night. High adventure videos. We're, <laughs> we're fishing uh, in South Carolina. Um, yeah. Find it on all your favorite streaming services. <laughs> Roku, wherever <laughs> you stream. <laughs> oh, can I judge another cook-off? Can we? Are we gonna do another cook-off, guys? Seven. All right, there you go. Yeah, so we're gonna do that. Who's the most annoying son? Oh, Micah, by by far. Yeah. 
Well, oh yeah. Yeah, well, um, yeah, yeah. So I don't have a Bigfoot story, whoa, but I do have the... Um... <laughs> whoa, sorry. Me out, Chia, another $2. Hey, Pops, did you bring some MREs? Yeah, to try. Yeah, I've got some MREs with me. Yep, I do. I've got a couple. In fact, I uh, got some sent to me. Um, um, anyway, let's see here. Uh, oh, yeah, I should. You're right. Actually, he treats me pretty good. Uh, he's got me put up in a real nice, some real nice digs. I'm 6'5". Well, you know, I was 6'5 when I was younger. I'm, I've shrunk a little bit with age. But, um, yeah, yeah. All right. Bye-bye, Landon. Good night. Have a nice evening. Um, yeah, yeah. When will you come to Memphis? Ooh, boy, I've been through Memphis a couple times. Um, that's the one. UFO story. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me turn you around here again. All right, so I'm, I'm, I've had a long night, or a long day, rather, putting windshields in. I used to, for real, for real life, I used to put windshields in. Sold that business a couple years ago, but anyway coming back and uh, I had an employee with me Carl I won't say his last name but Carl was with me we had done a lot of windshields up in the uh, uh, Micah hush oh well, I don't know I'm, I don't watch that stuff <laughs> anyway so we're, we're headed back and if you know anything about southern Idaho between Shoshone and Bellevue we have the um, we have the uh, Shoshone ice caves, and there is the there are the mammoth caves I think they're called, and it's where the government has an installation, like a fallout shelter, used back in the day. I don't think they use it anymore. Anyway, we're coming down from Sun Valley area is about 6,500 feet above sea level, something like that. It might be higher than that, but coming down into the Twin Falls area, which is about 3,200 feet above sea level, so you can see the whole valley before you. And all of a sudden, no kidding, hey Saul, good to talk to you. Right, right in front of us, about a mile in front and to our right, this, this light just goes up like a, like a shot. Uh, no trail behind it, no, like, not, not like a meteor or like a, a firework, but it just went straight up and it stopped. I said hey to Saul already. Hey, that was yours again. Yeah, that was yours, Ace. Hey. What are you doing? Um, and, uh, uh, the the light went up and it stood there for sat there for probably five six seconds and then all of a sudden it took yes I did it took off to my left went across the road and and went until we couldn't see it anymore so bye bye Liam uh, good night and so um, yeah that was um, uh, <laughs> that was the first and only time I've seen a UFO I couldn't identify it don't know what it was and the interesting thing was other people saw it who were driving back home that evening. Other people saw it. I've seen a tornado, too, in southern Idaho uh, from my car. Me and a cop pulled over and watched it whirl around. Uh, that was kind of interesting. Mushroom hunting. Oh, yeah, I'd like to go do some more mushroom hunting. A little, little cold out right now, but um, there's probably an angel of light. Yeah, it might have been. Good night, Alex. Um, we should eat the next shark we catch. That's a good idea. That's a yeah, good idea. Yep, yep. What's my favorite band? Oh, boy. I got to be in trouble with this one. Uh, you know, I, honestly, yeah, my favorite band. Fallout Boy, right? What's that? Fallout Boy. <laughs> I don't know who that is. I, I honestly, um, I, I like Pink Floyd. I like Pink Floyd. Yep, yep. I, um, one of my favorite songs, uh, of course, one of their favorite tracks. Uh, several species of small furry animals gathering in a gay cave grooving with a picked. So, um, don't know. And then none of them are on YouTube watching this live stream. Yeah. Everybody's, everybody's like looking at that. Everybody's like going to look up that song. I think, oh, I think Van Halen uses uh, part of that song in one of their... Uh... Papa had the pleasure of introducing me to that <laughs> song, whatever it was. That piece of art. Uh, that piece of art like a month ago. I didn't know it existed. Yeah. I, I now. Yeah. yeah. What, several species of fuzzy animals. What's the yeah. name of the song again? Would you enlighten everyone? Yeah, several species of small furry animals gathered in a cave, grooving with a picked. I think gathered together in a cave, grooving with a picked, P-I-C-T. At the end of the song, one of the guys from Pink Floyd can sing or can uh, speak um, um, old English. Uh, it's some kind of bro. Uh, yeah, and it, it's uh, quite, 
interesting to hear him shouting it out. But anyway, they wanted three day only what we can eat. I'm gonna hand that back over to you. This this leg broke off, so. <laughs> what are you doing, Pop? You can still talk. I just was oh, gonna hold it for you. Well, I'm gonna stand up. You're gonna stand up and stretch. I've been sitting for seven hours in there. I can't believe we have three people or or 604 people still watching this trash. <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't watch this garbage if I. I wouldn't made. watch myself. Would you Tune in tomorrow night and watch. Is that I'd actually probably just go for another four or five hours to be down there. Until it got better. Yeah, I'd be yeah, like, I'm just going to live stream until it gets point, better. It's going to get better. It has to. Yeah. <laughs> the law of averages <laughs> states that if you fish for eight hours, at some point you'll catch something. All right, guys, I have a little shrimp out on one rod. I'm hoping at least get a little something on the shrimp because we can't have a live stream where we caught no fish. I Have guess you could. ever goose egged on a live stream? I don't think so. Oof. I'll usually wait till the fishing's pretty good. <laughs> Welcome. I've already been initiated into that club. <laughs> okay. Getting, getting skunked on the live stream. Like to I, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my life. When did you get skunked life. on the live stream? I've done that twice this year, unfortunately. Twice out of... Twice? I, I have to say, it's I've, I've done probably like 14, 15 live streams, so it only happened twice. So I'm pretty proud of that. My record's pretty good. It's good enough to get into the playoffs, but... Uh, <laughs> It doesn't feel good. We'll I, put it that way. I think my first one this year was a Florida Canal fishing one. I didn't realize that you should never fish in the Florida Canals. Um, and we caught, I think we caught one though, but it was like uh, one in an hour and a half long live stream. Yeah, that was a, a fish. I almost feel, I feel like I wish I could refund everybody their money. <laughs> the, and after their time. getting goose egged. I'm like, sorry, sorry you wasted that with me. You know, it's not like you're with, hanging out with Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. You know, it's like, <laughs> like they can't, you can't give back their time. You know, yeah, that's that, the yeah, that's the most valuable thing. Yeah, it's like you grew a little older and a little stupider watching me the last three hours. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. tough. My bad. Ace, more hunting. More hunting. I am actually, actually, I'm not going to, oh, you see, no, Dude, that was, that's, the, that's surf, the surf. surf. I got a surf bite, a Smurf surf bite and thought it was, but it's just, yeah, it's not really a The bite. three of us doing an eat only what we catch, foraging and fishing. That would be pretty crazy. That would be pretty crazy. That'd be a lot of work too. Mm. We'd have to try three to, of us, we'd yeah, have to keep the old man alive is what it would happen. <laughs> I've got a lot of fat stories. You don't have to worry about me. <laughs> We're watching all the rods and nothing's nothing's going on. Hey, yeah, what's happened with the mushroom hunting, bro? Are you just decided you're not going to risk it for the biscuit anymore? <laughs> you know, I did a really easy one. You, the, uh, oh, Gabrielle Perez says, all I want... She says all she wants to see is Ace do the gritty. All I want for Christmas. <laughs> I don't blame you, for Gabrielle. Do I want to see it too, actually. <laughs> I got to catch a redfish before I do the gritty, though. Um, That'd be amazing. What were we talking about? Um, everything. When are you I going forgot. back to Kendall's place? Who is oh, Kendall? Yeah. Speaking of hunting. Kendall? Who's this Kendall? Kendall Gray. Oh. <laughs> Not who Ken I thought. I thought it was a girl. No, Kendall Gray. I was like, YouTuber. oh my. No. What romance is this? I would have told you. That looked like a bite. That looked right like a bite. That yeah. looked, but I don't care. But if he ain't going to plug it, then yeah. I ain't getting up out of my seat. This guy's getting a bite over here now. We got one. We got a fish just like, <gasps> breathe on it. If if you catch one more fish, I'm going to throw a royal fit over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Seriously. That's terrible. <laughs> Unreal. Everybody's asking when your music's coming out. Soon. It's soon. I gotta put an album together. Mm. You just really need should. to drop singles at first and see how the public responds. That's right. Drop beats, not bombs. Does the public find your lines pleasing? Uh, they do pleasure the ears of a lot of people, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Perfect. Perfect. Busted him, I think, was a hit tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, no, me ancient doesn't do the gritty. No, we're not that positive. No. I want him to live long and prosper. Yeah. yeah. What do they want me to do? The gritty? No. Yeah. yeah no, no, he doesn't dance. This white boy don't dance. <laughs> the new Hocus Pocus. I haven't even seen the old Hocus Pocus. Hocus so, Pocus. Is that something? It's a movie. A movie? Oh. Yeah. I don't watch movies. Dude, what, what, if, what if the hokey pokey is what I stopped on? watching movies and the last Lord of the Rings came out. You're a big L O T R fan, mm -hmm. aren't you? Mm-hmm. 
I knew that it was all going to be downhill after that, so there was no point in even watching. There's Vanna K. Hi, Vanna. Hey! I think that's how you should read that, her last part. Hey, hey Smike. <laughs> hey! I'll Pretty let sure. you do that. Hey, Vanna K. Come to Maryland and fish for Snakehead. I think up in Maryland they've got the eel, too, don't they? Yes, eels, yeah. freshwater eels. That's cool. I've heard that either people love them or like it's gnarly. It's I like it's not one of the puddle glum. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't take our dad anywhere. <laughs> that was as a well referenced reference. Does though. anybody know? <laughs> who, who puddle there have got to be a few people out of five hundred ninety-two people. I don't know. Do kids? I don't think kids read that stuff anymore these days. Yeah, somebody's we gonna know. We were somebody's teach. gonna know who puddle glum is. Wait for it. Wait for it. Somebody's gonna comment. Somebody's going to type it into their Google search and figure yeah, out. Yeah, they're going to type it into their Google search. They have to. Everybody's asking what happened to that Brazilian girl. Um, it didn't work out. I'll tell you my thoughts on the Rings of Power tomorrow or the next day whenever I do a live stream. It's either going to be tomorrow night or the night or the next night. So, Ace said no more Brazilian hey, I didn't girls. say that. I said I'm, I'm looking for, uh, what was the, what was the criteria? A rich... Um, he says a gold digger. Rich Brazilian super mama is what a, I'm waiting for. He wants a sugar mama. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm single for all of you who asked for it. That, that that rod keeps getting a little tap over there. but Which one? Just a, oh, that the one with the bell on it. Really? It's not, fish ain't committing to it. Yeah. <sighs> Alexa. <laughs> what Brazilian girl? Guys, if you didn't, if you missed the first part of the live stream, everything we've said about Brazilian girls isn't going to make sense. Yeah, yeah. You ever been fishing in Cali? Have you ever been fishing in California? I've never been to California except I passed through the red forest, a redwood forest, once many moons ago, when I was a little squirt. It's okay, so many fishes on the sea. Oh, they're on the sea. <laughs> Look, somebody says it's Puddle Glum, the wizard thing. Yeah, they have no clue. I don't think kids read <laughs> that those might books be the these best, days. The best day <laughs> is reply. Puddle Glum. Is that the wizard, the wizard thing? thing? That's from Harry Potter, isn't it? <laughs> Harry Potter and the Two Towers. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter and the Return of the King. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try some fishing in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. Go fishing in Rockport, Texas. Micah, any tips on getting girls? Dude, you're married. You you would know I'm married. about this. I'm plenty well married. Two kids, another one along the way. Extremely married, somebody. He's extremely say. married. Um, to quote Mr. Quiverful. We're going to start calling Micah Mr. Quiverful. Nobody's going to get that reference. No, nobody. <laughs> no one. Mr. Quiverful. Um, Although I did. Oh, so I saw a... Um, I saw a Christian bumper sticker. Oh. No, oh, you guys are my hero. Also, please do the gritty. <laughs> I like I how we just comment. slipped that you in. You guys are my hero. Please do the gritty. Yeah. Ace is going to hit the gritty. I already hit the gritty tonight. Somebody else got to hit it. You gave you gave a demo of the gritty. <laughs> what, were the, what was that flailing about there? <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. Chase uh, just turned 21 yesterday. Okay. Oh, congrats. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Chase. Yep, 21 years on the earth. Like a quarter of your life's <laughs> over, at least. Maybe more. Not to be glum, but it uh, <laughs> doesn't get much better after 21, to be honest. It's all kind of starts sliding downhill. Your body starts to really oh, decay. Oh, man, no way. <laughs> starts to go downhill. Especially as men. Like, we hit our stride from, like, 15 till 20. <laughs> and then the male body just starts to kind of... <laughs> Yeah. I read that in Men's Health, actually. <laughs> you read Men's Health. When I'm sitting in the dentist's office trying to get my molar rebuilt. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, $100 that's why you, you need to buy the supplements that they suggested. Like $300 for the supplements. Oh, that's yeah. what all those articles are about. Yeah. Like, you're not, you're not what you could be. You're half the man you could be. Buy all our products and you'll be better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, we gotta keep it back on another track. Woo! All right, anyway, I wish a fish would bite or something right yeah, about I know. now. 
Uh, let's see. Today is my birthday. Happy birthday. I think all these people have fake birthdays. Yeah, I think so all of a sudden everybody's birthday everybody has a birthday like during the live stream. Probably 200 people on this live stream have birthdays today. Yeah. I'm sure that and it, it detracts from the people who really do have birthdays. Yeah. But, you know, by yeah. the time the 30th one grows by, I'm like, I doubt it's like been 30, 40 people's birthday it, today. If they have a birthday, they should go to Denny's and get a free Grand Slam breakfast. Can you still, is that a still thing? Yeah, go to Denny's and get the free Grand Slam breakfast on your birthday? I don't know. There was, wait, what's that coffee shop in Boise? Um, Dutch, Dutch Bros. Dutch you get Brothers. free coffee on your birthday. Oh, somebody finally got it. Narnia series is where Puddle Glum is from. Thank you. They probably had to Google search. That he, took a long what time. Eat? What does Puddle Glum eat? Yeah, what does Puddle Glum really eat? Know. It's not. It's not real unless you can tell us in the next few seconds what Puddle Glum eats. Yeah. Pictures or it didn't happen. <laughs> we're. I'm watching the comment section, looking for what Puddle Glum eats. I'm a diehard high they're, they're fan. They're typing it in right now. Yeah, they're, they're Googling it. it. Somebody forget, forget, about, it. forget about it. Like when I started to yodel. Yeah. The, the, what you call it, the we theme. It. We got fish on over here. I'm going to pitch a fit right now. I'm packing <laughs> it in. I'm packing it in. I think we, I legit think we have the wrong bait. I think yeah. that's the difference between. I think we got bad bait. Because um, these guys are killing it over here. Yeah, they're crushing us. We're no, over here it's sitting. Not no, us. it's not my fishing skills. I'm a really for sure. good fisher. Yeah. Um, me too. I'm phenomenal. Um. What was it? Uh, yeah, I got one. I'll just give it here. Uh, Turkish we, delight. I see you. Um. What were we talking about? <laughs> my train of thought totally got derailed. Derailed from that fish. We're just kind of thinking about how those guys are catching fish over there. And we're it's not. really hard to sit and watch, actually. Yeah, it is kind of hard. It's like a big, swift kick to the groin. There's go, a there hit. Go, there oh, oh, he's got oh, yeah, one. He yeah. One. Yes. Yes. Finally. Woo. I'll, I'll reel mine in. I, hey, Bobs, could you hold the camera? We got, we're hooked up on a good one. I got to reel mine in. Yes. Got the camera. We got a fish. Oh no! What? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. What happened? Dude, he came. Wait, wait, wait. Where's he swimming? He might be swimming towards. Dude, I think he came off. What? He came off. Hey, we had some action, baby. Dude, we are. I blame Ace for base video. <laughs> Did it get broken off? Oh, he snapped it. Shoot. Busted. Oh, man. We need baby merch. My son needs a, me, uh, needs a ace onesie. Yeah. Well, that was a good one. Potoglum, oh, here we go. Potoglum ate venison. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. All right, sorry about that, guys. All right, well, we lost one. Did it bite it off, Micah? Yeah. Yeah, Asa got bit off too. Do you know where you ended up? Oh, I'm like straight out. I'm sure okay. cat straight out. It wouldn't bother us. Yeah, people are saying no. Oh wait, we have a fish over there. Oh, let's take a look. Oh, here we go. We got another shark. Look at there. Well, somebody's catching them. Yeah. Nice, that's nice awesome. job. First, first. Oh wow, that's cool. Congratulations, that's very cool. Very nice. All right. We got you with the uh, Maryland crabs there. Got it. We're good. Um, let's see. <laughs> oh, Semper Fi Devil Dog. There you go. I like it. I like it. Collab with me fishing secrets. I don't know about that. Hey, Abdul. Sorry about that. There we go. Uh, the guy by us here. I'm not sure what he. Well, let's see. What was he using for bait again, guys? You remember? Bonita. Bonita. There we go. We're gonna pick some of those up. To some one of those up tomorrow. He showed me how to hook them up and everything. So. What's that? 
We're we're at the pier at uh, in South Carolina here. No, that's what got me in trouble the first time. Something bit through my forty pound cast. Oh, okay. What are we using for bait? We got mullet and shrimp. Okay. Thanks, man. That was good advice. Right on. It came right out, brother. I see you run thirty rolling down the strip. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I showed. I showed that one. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, wait a minute. Somebody got it right, I think. Puddle glum. Puddle glum ate marsh wiggle eels. That's right. Marsh wiggle eel stew. Good job, Jason. Or Josiah. Josiah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was too specific, you know. That was too, like, yeah. How is it having famous sons? I don't know. That would be cool, though. That would be cool. That would be cool. There we go. I'm going to sit up. I would love to have like, you know, 60,000 people watching the live stream instead of the 600. People know me. Go fishing on Lejeune. You know, my wife oh, my and dear. I. Look, you're taking up my line. <laughs> my this wife is what and I like used to catch to shrimp um, in at New River Air Station. Uh, we'd skid on over there and throw a cast net and caught shrimp. And a lot of times we had to do that to eat supper. We. Marine Corps lost my pay stub for about three weeks. Wow. <laughs> Things were skinny there for a while. Mm. Um, anyway, well, and we had savings. We just didn't want to dip into it. So let's see. I've never been to the U.S., but I want to come. Where would you recommend? Oh, man. Tell you what. For a visit, mm, it, Destin, Florida is gorgeous. It really is. That, that, that water down there is beautiful. I'd go like in uh, uh, September, October time frame, if you like the, the, the water. I mean, we're water rats, so we like, we, we hang out in the water. You can't beat the monuments in North Dakota, though. Yeah, oh, uh, first time through. Say yeah, again? I hit North Dakota. For I what? North Dakota in, in like January. For what? For what? <laughs> January. For monuments. <laughs> What, what kind of monuments does North Dakota have, Micah? Just the American monuments. <laughs> Lots you, of them. No, I don't, I'm not familiar with any of them. Great monuments. Huge monuments. <laughs> I'm, not, monuments. I'm not familiar with any monuments in North Dakota. That's right. what I'm asking. Yeah. I've heard uh, of some in South Dakota, but yeah, not some in... Some in South, South Dakota have great monuments. Too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right. Um, anyway, hello from Miami. Hey, Miami. I like your boat show down there. It's a fun one. I went to Miami for the first time this year. Yeah, we went to Can Miami. Can you tell us how hard you partied in Miami? <laughs> I didn't party what at all. I saw so many rich people in Miami. It was oh, ridiculous. Oh, my word. Wasn't that Miami something? is filled to the top with rich people <laughs> and gold diggers, but we will talk about that on Micah's well, channel. Well, why aren't you down there more? I mean, those are the people you're after. <laughs> No, Fargo, no. North Dakota is the best no, place ever. I'm looking for a rich woman. I don't, I don't want to marry to a gold digger. I, 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 Remember, I that's how that works. That. I don't know I about that. Micah forgot how gold diggers work. Um, he thought that I was, I was looking for. No, I said no. I am. I am looking for the rich woman. He, he totally so forgot how. He, he totally forgot how that works. Excuse me, everybody, but he really is. Um, what's one fish you haven't caught but you'd like to catch? How about you, son? Um, one fish I haven't caught that I would like to catch. That's just what I said. <laughs> is, one fish I haven't caught that I'd like to catch. <laughs> Micah. You know, cob so cool. cobia. All right, that's really cool. I've seen guys catch cobia from boats and stuff like that. Like a really big one. Um, like using one of those big like snake lures or something like that. Mm. That would be cool. I've never caught a cobia before. Let's see. Do we big game hunt? We do not. I... I no... It was all I could do to get kids fishing and, and all that kind of stuff. But uh, <laughs> great white shark, yeah, there you go. Um, that would be cool to catch a baby great white shark. Goliath grouper, that'd be kind of fun, I guess. I, I want to be able to eat. Yeah, I drank the water at Lejeune. Um, I was stationed there for three three years. but um, <laughs> He gets by sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a pretty specific thing there from what I understand. It's not all of Lejeune. But they're they're trolling you. They're they're getting you to call in case you lived in base housing. It was more had to do, do with base housing, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. Who thought of getting Miss Piggy? Oh, you know what? That's a great story. Ah, Miss Piggy you just wanna, showed up. Yeah. 
Miss Piggy just showed up one day on the doorstep. She was sick and looked like she was about to die or was getting close to die. And um, so we started to take care of her and we fed her a lot and she just ate and ate. And that's why we called her Miss Piggy because I was like, you're a little piggy. Um, and uh, then her name just gradually grew into Miss Piggy. And um, she ended up just staying around. But yeah, you know, she was just there. She was sick and uh, kind of nursed her back to health. And um, is that guy getting another bite? Oh, it's bad. Getting another bite over there. These guys. Good grief, these guys are killing it. Um, anyway. I'm, I'm dying inside. <laughs> Can we hold that for you? Sure, thank you. I was getting a bite over here, but I think my shrimp is gone. I don't. Also, I hate fishing with shrimp because it just gets pulled off so easily. Caleb donates. Thank you, Caleb. Who is the better athlete in the prime? He has Ace, Micah, or Pops? Probably my dad because he's so tall. Uh, no, I would say Micah. Micah. Seriously, uh, Micah. You go, everybody votes for me. All right. Yeah, no, Micah was definitely, Mike, you played football and did all that stuff. So yeah, I, when I was a kid, I, I had jobs and, and um, I, I, yeah, I ran cross country for one year and then um, got, to, got to work and, and got worked after school, worked before school, and that's what I like to do. That was my jam. <laughs> Somebody asked, are we going to watch the World Cup? What's the What's World that? Cupping? Are they it's cupping the their mouth? Cup. I don't, I don't know. Watch, I think, is that I golf? Soccer. Soccer. Oh, okay. I don't watch soccer. It's yeah. soccer. Sorry, I don't watch soccer. Real Americans. Um, <laughs> you you guys, know, it's that <laughs> thinking is the reason why the U.S. soccer teams aren't good. <laughs> okay. Uh, I ran cross country. There you go. Yep, yep. Uh, Got to save my money for Micah's live streams. You guys do well <laughs> to take a cue from that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Phillies or Astros? I want to say Phillies just because the Astros cheated yeah, to win. They did. That's right. That's right. They're gonna never gonna live that down either. Yeah. I'm gonna be like, how did Astros cheat to win? They did like they did like Spygate yeah, stuff they and they, they yeah. stole signs yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. It was ridiculous. Um, the Astros. It'll be like 80 years from now. People will still be like. Ah, the Astros cheated. No, nothing about them's legitimate. I mean, like, like the whole the whole team is dead now. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But oh uh, man. But I want the Phillies to win. I like the underdog typically. I'm not a massive baseball fan, but I watch this time of year sometimes. So. Uh, the ancients staying humble. I'm the most humble guy I know. Absolutely, <laughs> all choked up with humbleness and humility. <laughs> You can read that faster than I can. Uh, go to Nebraska. Go to Nebraska. I've heard people live in Nebraska on purpose. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. Well, I grew up in Iowa, so I can say all kinds of crap like that. <laughs> so when you lived in the north, when you grew up in the north, or in the Midwest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why doesn't Ace upload? As, as much, much as, Micah. as Micah. Yeah, that's a good question. Because yeah. his channel's going downhill. <laughs> um. I have to work today. I'm not going to say it, but when you buy your views, you well, don't you, have to oh, upload that man, much. Oh, man, don't say now, that's that. That's one thing I don't true. like at all is no. I never buy views. No. There are a lot we, of people yeah, that buy some views. guys that do that. That's views. right. That's right. Um, um, I just saw another comment. Oh, oh somebody flounder gave, gigging yeah. at night. We do have to do that, though. There a flounder go. gigging at night. Yep, yep. Somebody gave $5. I missed that. Oh, did I miss it? Probably while it's running my mouth about Ace. Juan Yi. Juan Yi. Thank, Thank you, Juan. Thanks, Juan. Remember, guys, this is probably the only live stream we'll do for a long time, so you might as well give all your money now. <laughs> wow. Well, let's just like you. Just just milking people. That's You're just greedy. That's all you are. Well, somebody keeps saying my dad's football team is Minnesota or Michigan. I can't see it. It goes by too quickly. We're going to try to do a cook-off at yeah. some, some point. And I've got some MREs here, too. Not everybody is a Raider fan here, you know. Are we coming back to Idaho? Guys, are we going back to Idaho? Sooner or later, I'm sure. At some point, yeah. Yep. 
no plans right now, though. Hello, you beautiful people. There you go. Mm, there you go. Anyone catch anything? <sighs> I'm gonna catch some Z's here in a minute. <laughs> Had some bites. How many people are watching this trash? 600. Six Ace about to catch these hands here if he doesn't start producing some fish here. Tackle Ace bite? into the ocean. You want, you want a bite on the pier? Dude, we could grapple right here on the pier. Somebody just said they want more Hawaii trips. I'm gonna get up a minute. <laughs> Why doesn't Ace go ice fishing with Micah? One bad experience is all it took for Ace to swear off I never ice quite fishing. cared for ice fishing to begin with. And then we drive six hours to Henry's Lake in Idaho. Catch and cook Komodo dragon that from was... Minestrone. I don't, that wasn't his name. I couldn't pronounce it. But <laughs> Komodo dragon, that would be interesting. Thank you for the idea. Yeah. We will we will file that one away. I filed that one away, but it's not as good as catch and cook penguin. Yeah, that's pretty. That would be legit. I'm down for that. I got to imagine penguin probably tastes phenomenal. I'm kind of thinking that we go outside the country and do some of these dream catch and cooks. Yeah. Catch like, and cook baby seal. Baby seal. We got catch and cook um, uh, sea turtle. Catch and cook baby dolphin. Dude, I'll bet in Hawaii you could do that. <laughs> I see turtles around there all the time. I'll bet in Hawaii that would be... i just cook it right up on the beach, too. Make a fire on the beach. We'll do the foreign dream catch and cook series. We could, do we could go to China and catch and cook cats. Baby tiger. Baby tigers, sorry, baby tigers, that's what they call them. Now, Lewis and Clark did eat dog back in the 1803-1806. They ate dog? Yes, they did. They were hungry. Little puppies were... I think I just got popped on that you one. You did get popped. I'm going to hold the camera in case you have to rush over there. Well, if you got... No, see, it's just little, like... Like, little blow up taps? Mm-hmm. I'm going to sit there and watch You're going to sit and watch it. And I'll be like, oh. <laughs> I haven't turned the camera around. Jen says not penguin. No, I'm totally kidding. We're not gonna catch a cook of penguin. Are we? People want to see us do the gritty. They want to see you do the gritty. Fish the Bermuda Triangle. You have the Bermuda Triangle series. That would be pretty cool. You have to catch. Look at these fish. guys. Those guys have another one. <laughs> I'm sorry they had to see that. <laughs> so right when you do that, somebody said to catch and cook a monkey. Oh no. That would be tough. Yeah. I heard about that. I heard about yeah, when you skin monkeys. We've so guys in throughout history, there have been people who have uh, caught cooked monkeys. Um, and they said the hardest part of doing that is when you go to skin a monkey. All right, so imagine how monkeys look. You take all their fur off, and they're like they're sitting there, you know, they're laying on a table or whatever. And they said it is. There will be people who are like, nope, I can't, can't do it, because yeah. they kind of look like humans, like a skinned human or something laying on the table. And that is the biggest barrier to eating monkey. For that's why you never hear about that, even like among tribes and stuff. They'll eat almost anything. They don't eat monkey. Monkey is still off limits for for even the deepest tribes um oh, there you go. Oh, now you're getting a bite so yeah you're gonna hold it and then we'll have this <laughs> people are still saying catching it they're sick they're just sick Despite that little that little speech I just gave they're still like yeah. catch and cook a monkey <laughs> what was that? Was that cast over that way, or was that cast back that? Way? Um, yeah, that one might be moving there a little bit. That one has been getting tapped on a bunch. It's like there's like pin, there are pinfish or something on it. Probably not pinfish out this far, but it could be croaker or whiting. Yeah, catch a cook a walrus. It wouldn't be hard to catch. I just like walk right up to it and stick it. <laughs> when, <laughs> Like the easiest part of the video. Jen, she may have to leave soon. She is so tired. Good night, Jen. I don't know why you're. 
Thank you. Uh, she's not. Oh, I should probably make Jen a moderator. She's been watching for years. Um, Tash is the one. Is the and Mason. Lizzie Blanchard. It's been a while, Asa. Glad to see you're doing well. My mom still watches your channel faithfully all these years later. Hi, Lizzie Blanchard. Wow, that I was thinking about that memory. Um, it was. It, it's too. I just wouldn't be something to explain on a live stream. But we have this. Uh, yeah, I know this interesting uh, thing back. Let's see, when was that? That was 2016. No, 2017. 2016, 2017. Um, yeah, it's not appropriate for... Not, it's, not, it's not like it's inappropriate. It's just private. Not good for a live stream. <laughs> no, it's just private. It's nothing. No, it's just private. I'll explain it to you after the live stream. I've never told you that story. Never told anybody, really. <laughs> not, not to like, not to be mysterious. Oh yeah, not to be. I can't tell you the story of Lizzie. So somebody asked why the Raiders. Micah, could you enlighten them with why the Raiders? Yeah, I don't know. I was so young. I was kind of <laughs> stupid when I was younger. <laughs> Obviously, uh, uh, I think we watched we were watching football. And it seemed like uh, the Raiders were good, so they played a lot. They were on the local TV. Plus, in Idaho, you know, they were good. And there's no f professional team in Idaho, so you're gonna, you know, the Raiders. They're gonna show Raiders games. Um, but uh, I remember I liked the colors, and I liked, um, I like Rich Gannon and Jerry Rice, and Tim Brown. I thought they they were super cool, and I liked uh, Dad Gum. Uh, uh, Oh, uh, no, Romanowski, oh, the linebacker. Oh, I forgot Romanowski. Even though Romanowski was a Bronco, uh, he was just, like, so mean and nasty. Like, he he was, he was reminded me of a Raider. It was like, this is a Raider. Right? And so I just kind of was like, I don't know, that's just where it started. And then they promptly got beat by the Bucks in the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and we haven't been good since then. So it's been a long life, really. <laughs> been a long life but there you go you know i do have a backup bait i just thought somebody reminded me in the you comment section no it's what are you it's doing? the candy oh, it's uh you want some of that or let's guys we're gonna try fish gum if you don't know what fish gum is it tastes great I got no, crimpy, it's for it's gum let me look through here you know what i should have done i should have brought my ah. binder up ah uh, fish binder. gum Bro, get some of that out way and cut it off with scissors. It's really hard. Why Just cut a big old piece off this? because I gotta film it. People are saying do the gritty. Somebody put Sky Strider in timeout. Spammers in the comment section. You want some fish gum pops? It actually looks like you can eat it. Yeah. If I saw yeah, it a looks, package, I would take it. You have to keep that away from the children, or the children will eat it, you know. No, no doubt. How big of a piece do you want? Like, like that? A little bit. Okay. Fish gum! Look at that, like a big piece of gum. And apparently it's supposed to catch fish. Will fish like gum? Will fish <laughs> like... <laughs> Double hook them. Nice. All right, my dad's gonna try fish gum. Let's see if that turns our luck around here. Would love to get your mom's homemade coleslaw recipe. We'll have to get that to you, Sabrina. It is delicious. Hello from, I think we're out of moderators. I agree. Are any moderators still I watching? could jump on my phone and mod if you want. <laughs> Might have to have you do that. While I was live streaming, actually, the last live... Oh, dude, look at that bite. Where? Which one? Yours. It, just, it gave a pop. Just one pop. It's probably whiting, honestly. Randy Moss with the Raiders. Did Randy Moss play for the Raiders? He did, and he was cheeks because we didn't know how to use him, and we, our whole team was cheeks. So then he proceeded to go to New England and post, like, a career year. Who's that? Randy Moss. <laughs> Because our organization is cheeks as a whole. From bowl cut Davis, boy child. Oh, 
from the head down. No, I just I'm so mad because what's like Al Davis did buy the women's Vegas team and they won. That's the only championship he'll ever see. <laughs> I'm just so mad at the Raiders. We have so much potential, and we waste everybody's potential. Max Crosby, going to waste it. Josh Jacobs, going to waste it. Who else? Al Devontae Adams, thanks for coming over. Glad that uh, you'll ride off into the oblivion as a Raider, because every time we get him the ball, he's phenomenal. (laughs) And then we just ghost him for like three quarters. It's like, wow, three completions for 41 yards to Devonte Adams. I have an idea. Let's not throw to him for the rest of the game. It's like, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Heady coaching right there. Just mad. Shame, 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 Asa. The bag of shame. Does he still do Who is that guy? He used to do the, no, the bag of shame. No, he doesn't even. He got fired from NFL. Oh, really? Yeah. Is something scandals? No, it just a cool cut way back during COVID, and he got the axe. Oh. What was his name? Uh, I forgot. I forgot too. <laughs> shows you. <laughs> it was shows real popular. Yeah. Real popular. Real yeah. popular. Nobody watches him anymore. Catch and cook a dog. You'd probably lose a few subscribers if you did that. What if you get banned from YouTube for catching and cooking the wrong things? You know, it was like. But like, if you did it like in Asia, you know, where it's acceptable. <laughs> if it's like, well, technically. I can't even retie. He's getting so many bites over there. That must be I think nice. it's that side of the pier. No, I think it's the bait, dude. I think that bait. Did we buy bad bait? We bought. Oh, well, we bought the wrong bait. This is the right Bro, type of bait for the daytime. We bought bad bait for the daytime. If you're fishing for the for when the when the reds are running in the daytime, the bull reds are moving through. They'll slurp that up. But the bull reds aren't out right now. I think the shark the shark want that big that cut bait. <sighs> well. Hello from Narnia. I don't know why that always makes me laugh. Hello, <laughs> somebody's in, I, somebody's sitting like, in Narnia on, on uh, like all dressed up and like they're on a horse and then they have their like phone out and they're watching the live somebody stream. Somebody said hello from why. the moon one time and that cracked me up. I, don't, <laughs> I was like, and then of course then everybody chimed in. Hello from Saturn. Hello <laughs> from Mars. It's like okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness I'm an Eagles fan Fly Eagles Fly It's actually part of their Chant I don't know if you know that Is that part of their chant? Yeah. I've never been to an Eagles game uh, <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Is, it, is this a good joke? Should I turn it on you? Oh okay I <laughs> love the terminology. Cheeks. I was wondering who was going to get that. Usually it takes people a long time yeah. to pick up on. Typically, uh, uh, cheeks is great. You could also say we get our, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's we just our, keep it at cheeks and we'll be good. Yeah. It's a Most clean Sundays channel. the Raiders are getting their cheeks clapped. <laughs> <laughs> it's really sad. Sad day in Bethlehem. <laughs> anyway. Especially when you're up 20 to nothing on a team. Yeah, at and then you just give away the game. <laughs> you just blow it. Mm. And you know, you have to work hard to blow a 20 to nothing. You, you really like, do. Like, you really do. Like, like, when you're up 20 to nothing, there's only one half to go. <laughs> you have to. That takes some skill, I feel like. <laughs> it's a real plan. Yeah, I, something like the Raiders would do. <laughs> so. Was your dad ever stationed overseas? Um, yes. Uh, big... Yeah, I guess it was. It was in Beirut, Lebanon. I was in Norway on a Norway float. I floated uh, on a ship with 300 of my close personal friends, and we went to uh, Norway and then uh, Holland and then England. We got people on the other side getting bites and stuff. Have you ever ate pufferfish? I have not. I've heard that that is uh, that's a dicey thing to do. Holy Whoa, this guy's got a fish. Holy mackerel. This guy's like hooked up with a giant. Yeah, I'm gonna call him Sharkmeister. Wow. This, this this gentleman over here. If you guys just tuned into the live stream, this is. You mind if we see this one too? At least somebody's catching something. Oh, no. 
Did he, Did he get off? off? Oh, that was a big fish. Holy mackerel. Oh, dang it. Shoot. I have not eaten puffer fish because it's because uh, of the risk and the, yeah. I think you, some of you guys know why people eat puffer fish. If you eat them wrong. Dude, what happened? What? Your bait. Maybe start hooking them to the back. Uh, I think that's the whiting eating that, I think. They're just nibbling it off. It looks like the, the spine is still there. Mm -hmm. I, want to, I want to show you guys a good piece of, uh, of Jig head. equipment on. Always put your bead above the sinker. <laughs> that way it does absolutely nothing. <laughs> that way when the sinker goes flying, it doesn't hit the tip of your rod. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to retie something really quickly. <laughs> oh, that's gold. That's gold, Micah. I admire that you put that on the um, <laughs> put that on the live stream. Not all heroes wear capes. <laughs> Not everybody would have shown that. <laughs> You've only been fishing for like 18 years or something. Dude, I'm 29. I've been fishing for like 22, 22 years. years. Uh, Y'all pass for twins. We've well, for never smoked. Time. Mike, have you ever smoked weed? I've never smoked weed. Oh, Guys, we don't no. smoke weed. Don't I smoke weed, no matter that. what our con no matter what been, direction our nice country is one. going. Oh, did it? Did it? Of course, that one landed and didn't go down the crack. It landed? Oh, my goodness. That guy set the hook. His bell flew off, and the bell just landed on the pier way down there. That's that's a... Uh, um, oh, Justin TCM is in the chat. Put the bait on first. Half-inch piece of fish gum. And let me read that comment. Thank you for the $5, Sean. Put the bait on first, then a half-inch fish, a half inch piece of fish gum keeps the bait on hook when they bite maybe on micah's channel everybody's looking forward to your live stream bro they should <laughs> they know quality when they see it <laughs> did he get off <laughs> Good grief. let's keep it clean we're trying to keep it clean on this channel always did he say it in a, in a Professor Snape voice? Always. Somebody says, can I buy you gentlemen a fish? We could go to walk over to the restaurant that's over there and... Uh... Now, could somebody deliver us some pizza? <laughs> deliver some pizza? <laughs> Call in a pizza to the... Tomorrow night. <laughs> tomorrow night for Micah's live stream. Instead of donating... Tomorrow night or the next night, if you we're bringing food out here. To the Isle of Palms here deliver a pizza no i'm bringing food out i'm gonna order like a pizza and we're just gonna have it out here <laughs> boy tash is busy i feel like i should get something for tash he is busy just timing people out left <laughs> and right <laughs> oh, what's going on here you need to recast aces right? yeah i need to recast okay, mine could you hold on, on and talk to everybody hey everybody let's oh, see good here. thing is we're almost at the bait so we can end this oh somebody thing. said they would they would uh moderate but I, I missed it so let's see aloha from the big island oh you know i've never been to the big island i've seen it i've seen it from um maui i've seen it from the water out in the boat and um pretty cool let's see here some of these uh they they uh People have, uh, what do you call it? Uh, they use those those um, shortened, you know. They they oh, use they abbreviations. Do. I don't understand what what they're saying, so I'll, I guess I'll leave alone some of that stuff. But uh, weight the bottom hook foot above fifty dollars. And Micah eats a piece of gum fish. Gross. Oh, there you go. Catch and cook, <laughs> Mr. Tumnus. <laughs> Oh, jeez. His legs would taste pretty good, probably. It's a fawn, isn't he? What is he called? Isn't he like a woodland nymph or something yeah. like that? <laughs> something. 
I don't know if that's what he is, but he's something. What do they call this half man, half centaur? He's a centaur? No, he's not a centaur. He's a monitor. No. See, gosh, things are going by so quickly. I can't keep up here. Um, a centaur is a half man, half horse. I don't know what the half deer, half horse. That's a somebody. Somebody. Is that, somebody tell us what's the half deer, half man? Isn't that a fawn? It's just a fawn. Yeah, fawn. F a u n. I think. Let's see here. See, I don't understand what, what these things are, some people. A one-week challenge. I like Ooh, that. I don't know, man. Would lo okay, Sabrina Shelton said that she liked to moderate. She's been watching for years. Where, so. where, where, hold on. There you go, Sabrina. Oh, oh yeah, for you and, uh, oh, okay. Do you want to let it. you want to let Sabrina moderate? She's been watching for years. You want to sit on my oh, lap? Yeah, I think Sabrina. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Okay, so Sabrina. Sits. Uh, let me see. Uh, it's been a long time since I added a moderator. And right, let me find she Sabrina. Yeah, she's up there quite a ways. No, oh, keep going. Vanna just made some nachos she's going to deliver. Man, what? I would wish we could have some Vanna nachos. K? Vanna K, oh, but she's in California. Right That's there. mean, Vanna. That's mean. What, what do the nachos what? have on them? I need a, I need a play by play. That sounds delicious right oh, now. Oh, man. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, I just added nachos. her as a moderator, just Look like you. Sabrina. You're, you're a moderator. You're your now. bad self. I don't, when people add skull and crossbones, does that mean that they're laughing or does it mean, because I've seen people it like. It means they're pirates. Or does it mean they want me like expired or something or. You see, like, I don't know what, when, what context. They're just skulls. Oh, that means they're dead. Like they're dead from laughter. They're, okay, that's, okay, that's what I was just making sure. Mm, did we because say I've seen sometimes funny? people if say, ha, ha, ha. If they with skull and crossbones on it, don't drink it. That doesn't mean <laughs> like. You're going to have, it's like laughing juice or anything like that. <laughs> it really is all in the context. Context is good. Hello from Ohio. Oh, Ohio. Catch and cook a possum. Now we're talking. That's a, a greasy possum? meat. Possum. I'm telling you, greasy meat at the we old possum. We do have to do a squirrel cook off though, really. Yeah. Because I don't think you could hit a squirrel. <laughs> I don't think you could shoot one. You don't think I'm I going I down the gauntlet right now. You don't think that when Ace's, I go to Kendall's Ace's house. Ace has been slapped by the finger of my adventure. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mikey doesn't think I go to Kendall's house. I will be uh, able to shoot a squirrel. So, yeah. Are you going to his house sometime? Yeah, probably November for squirrel season. Oh, for squirrel season. There you go. Can I bring my AR-15 up and we can hunt squirrels? <laughs> probably shouldn't hunt squirrels with something like that, huh? Wait, somebody just answered that. Fawn center. Okay, yeah, somebody said fawn. All right, it is just fawn. Just Mr. Tomness, Mr. Tomness is just a fawn. I guess that makes sense. And a centaur is half man, half horse. Right. So then we go back to the original question that somebody asked. Could you eat a fawn? You could. You could eat the bottom half. <laughs> the bottom. <laughs> I'm just saying, you got like the legs. It makes sense, right? Well, if you could eat the legs of a deer, you know. How far up would you recommend? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm going thighs down. I mean, I'm leaving the torso. <laughs> Well, we've talked about some weird things this evening. This is what like, happens when you live stream for a long time. When you live stream for too long. <laughs> this is the hard, gentlemen. <laughs> so they practice. personally think he would taste pretty good. Oh, we got people leaving the live stream. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Talking about eating Mr. Tumnus. Well, no, it's not Mr. Tumnus And what Tumnus would it be himself. like? It's just like a fawn in general. Fawn in general. Could oh, you? We're talking about like the logistics of it. <laughs> like, this is all academic, right? Purely. You know, if that guy catches another fish, I'm throwing yeah. it off the edge. <laughs> we should probably. This is ridiculous. Get a bite. That is we should like, just we go bake some bait off that, of that it. That is yeah. actually amazing, the difference between bait. Yes. Because you know the fish, the sharks are out there just swimming right past. The, the sharks are out there just swimming. I mean, they're out there. We're, we're, not, we're not 30, 20 feet from their bait. Um, but you know the sharks are just passing up the mullet yeah. and just going straight for that. So I'll bet like tomorrow if we either do it tomorrow night or the next night, I'll bet we come out with that. What was that? The barracuda, Bermuda, Bonita, Bonita, that too, Benito Mussolini. I 
Um, if you come out with the Benito, um, I'll bet we hammer them. They got another one. I mean, that's insane. That is crazy. <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> All right. Wow. You guys got your light? What's that? Oh, a light? A light. <laughs> what a Hello from Destin. From where? Oh, Destin. Destin. Yeah, Just we were came Destin. from there. Yeah. Alaska trip would be cool. You're right. That would be very cool. Catch a cook stingray. Been there, done that. I have a catch a cook, couple or at least one catch a cook. Mike stingray. has done one too, I think, hasn't he? Let's see here. Cook off, gun sounds. Frog's legs. Squirrel is a very little meat. Plus, they are tiny in Florida. <laughs> what did they say? <laughs> Serving with the side. Of Turkish delight. <laughs> we need to move away <laughs> from this conversation, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> of whether or not you can eat a fawn or a centaur, wait, wait, and we'll somebody, be done with this. Somebody, hang on, just wait. wait this, <laughs> this, <laughs> oh, I can't get to it. You can't I'm get sorry. to the comment. Oh my goodness. goodness! Should we go over there? And look at oh, that? we're gonna look at this shark. This guy's other. Oh my goodness. Can we see one more shark here? Yeah. Since we have, oh, these, oh, wow. That That's that what a fish looks like right there. That's cool. I don't, I don't recall seeing sharks. Oh that man, very nice. Oh, very, very nice. Oh, not, not on our side of the pier. Oh, you bet, you bet. Wow, very cool, guys. That was very cool. That's now awesome. I know what a shark looks like. <laughs> It's been quiet yeah, on our catch, side. Yeah. <laughs> We're on the western front too, so it's all quiet on the western front. It's the western side of the pier. Oh man. So, Mike, I don't know if you heard the latest. Here, I'll no, slide over if he wants to sit down. Hey, Casey, you want to yeah, move over? Oh, we got all three of us sitting on there this tiny go. little bench. <laughs> no, the, so the latest, somebody figured out what. <laughs> We're we not going back to Mr. Tumnus, are yeah, we? Yeah, but to serve oh. with Mr. Tumnus. No, we don't. We don't. We need to move on. A side of Turkish delight. We need to move on to okay. this conversation. I, I'm done. I'm done. Pop's uh, like, now I'm done. <laughs> I got now to say what I to. wanted to say. Uh, if you guys can read that stuff, you go ahead and tell me. Yeah, the comments are flying by pretty fast. Mm. As long as they don't. Kind of like the fish past our bait. <laughs> Just That's flying true. by. <laughs> Oh my goodness. What a night. We might be wrapping up here pretty soon. Probably. Um, Fishing's been cheeks. <laughs> yeah, it's been tough. Shout out to Lou. What we need to do is like tomorrow when we or tomorrow the next <laughs> night when we do it again on my channel, High Adventure Videos. <laughs> um, uh, we need to do like the person who catches the smallest fish has to jump in. No, I'm, I, I'm not yeah, playing that one. Cannonball! <laughs> yeah, you have to yell eight, Geronimo. Eight feet too. of water <laughs> out here. They said that hurricane messed things up around here. Irmo, or, or uh, Ian, rather. Ian. Yeah, I'll bet. It yeah. hit up th this way. Actually, kind of missed this side, but it was pretty gnarly this way. Hmm. Peacock bass. You you did a catch cook peacock bass. That's one fish I haven't yeah. caught, a peacock bass. I have not hit the peacock bass action. Why am I so fuzzy? Is it your dad gum it's thing? It's focused on, on me. See, it, it late at night, the thing has a hard time focusing. Uh, Wild turkey. Who's winning in a fist fight? Ah, uh, his, his, his phone's running low. That's Hallelujah. Un <laughs> that's unfortunate. <laughs> we might call this one. We'll give it a few more minutes, maybe something. There you more. go. Something always bites right at the end, right? <laughs> Anybody want to introduce a new topic besides whether or not you catch and cook? How about Mr. sharks? Or Idaho. Okay, Idaho or South Carolina. For me, obviously, I'm the only one that lives in South Carolina. Uh, South Carolina for days, obviously. There's just so much more to do. Um, oh, cameraman. I, yeah, this, this, not, this microphone stinks. You don't I've got like a microphone. that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go South Carolina. Idaho has its good qualities, but uh, uh, overall, I'd rather be shrimping and crabbing, crappy fishing, bigger catfish, uh, striper fishing in, in South Carolina. Oh my. Oh, he tried to bite got, you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they can turn around and, and uh 
they can turn around. <laughs> I like those eyes. What? It, what? Me. Did that shark? I think we just farted on that. Oh my goodness. He just broke wind right there. <laughs> he needs a windbreaker. Oh, shoot. I was afraid he cleaved. <laughs> Okay. Glad I missed that. <laughs> that was weird. I thought somebody made that noise with I their mouth. So, I, yeah, I didn't. I didn't know that that came from the shark. I'm not sure what that shark. <laughs> I did. just, dude, kind of my world has been rocked right now. That was weird. Uh, that was really weird. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, okay. So how about for you guys, the South or Idaho? The Does South. Somebody know where you live. I moved it to this. No, they don't. I've been keeping what I live a secret, not because like so I'm so... So you can so, find Ace. No, <laughs> not because I'm like so famous or anything, but one of the things that we did have a problem, a little problem with in Idaho is that people figure out where I lived. Mm -hmm. And uh, and like sometimes people, I think one time guys followed me home from the grocery store. We had kids fly a drone over our house and spying on us. Uh, we had um, kids knocking on our door and then yeah. running away. Yeah. Uh, just all kinds of stuff like that. So now I don't tell everybody, even the town I live in. So... Um, yeah, so that's why. But uh, the South, definitely. I moved to the South on purpose because I fell in love with it. And, uh, yeah. People are very uh, friendly and the, uh, uh, oh, sorry. The, um, and, and we have enjoyed the scenery. There's, in Idaho, where we lived, it was desert. And where we live now, it's in, in and around the, the Smoky Mountains. And it is just, pow, it is just amazing. So, um, that's and I yeah, love that gorgeous. striper fishing. I, I mm -hmm. like yeah, just there's a lot of fun things. So mm -hmm. yep. And and my wife grew up in the south, so we're back home for her, and uh, I like that. So mm -hmm. that's all. I was sorry, if we I was get to five hundred dollars donated on my live stream tomorrow, I'll tell you where Ace oh. lives. A thousand dollars, I'll give out his phone number. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Just saying, there's a little incentive for y'all mm. there. So anyway, um, Star Wars or Star Trek? Ace, are you a Trekkie? I have never seen Star Trek in my life, the old or the new ones. I've seen little clips of the old ones. Um, I remember seeing, this is all I remember of it. I remember seeing Catwoman in the old, like, it was like a 50s or 60s Star Trek or maybe 70s. Um, Star Trek, Catwoman fighting somebody else, and it was so campy and so, like, funny. I was like, okay, that was weird. And I never watched Star Trek after that, and I haven't watched any of the new videos. So Star Wars, all the way for me. Um, yeah. That's fair. So. Somebody said uh, catch a cook skunk. Skunk is probably not on the menu. You have to put the microphone in my... Oh, I'm sorry. Skunk <laughs> is definitely a... Um, people want to hear what he's saying. People, <laughs> yeah. Skunk is not on the menu for me. I will... Um, Why is that? Definitely. It's just too weird of an animal. Like, I don't mind trying some crazy things, but I would not go to all the trouble to catch kind of a cute little skunk and then kill it and cook it up. Is it the stink? It is the stink and just the fact that it's a little fuzzy mammal that is, you know, I don't know, kind of kind of cute. So you've got no problem killing a squirrel, say. That no. kind of mammal. That's a rodent. <laughs> no, they're a rodent, yeah. They're a rodent. No problem whatsoever shooting a squirrel out of the tree. I thought skunks ate chickens and stuff like that. Is that not a rodent? <laughs> no, These are the real mammal. questions that need to be asked here. <laughs> they're a mammal. See, you guys, you guys, when you're grilled about these things, you just, you're flipping about it. But then when people put your feet to the fire, then all of a sudden it's like, oh, I, I don't know. How about porcupine? Porcupine? No, no hassle. porcupine. Too much hassle too much to excuse? clean. Oh, too much hassle. Okay. <laughs> too much, yeah, to do a, <laughs> I keep seeing a McTumnus meal. <laughs> Can we get off? <laughs> Mr. Tumnus, please. Speaking of Mc. Um, um, the McRib is coming back to a McDonald's near you. This is actually a live stream unofficially sponsored by McDonald's. Um, be looking out for the McRib coming back to a store near you. One of the best, one of the greatest sandwiches ever created uh, under the Golden Arches. Uh, we agree or disagree? Um, I'm still a fan of some of the more, uh, I, I love the McRib. I'll probably order it five or six times. Um, during the season, but I, uh, overall, I'm not like a uh, flipping out McRib fan. I'm just kind of a, sort of a McRib fan. That's I'm, a I'm, it's in very enjoyable. Like I said, I'll go to McDonald's multiple times, but not like one of those crazy people that's there the first day. That's fair. That's fair. 
I'm a massive McRib fan. Um, I'll eat my weight in McRibs, and I've got no shame about it. You know, people try to tell you, they really, they gaslight you with all this stuff. Like, oh, it's not real pork. We know it's not real pork, <laughs> you know. We know it's processed whatever. It's fake, and I still enjoy it. You know, most of the food you consume is fake. So, um, I mean, McDonald's, they're not, they're not, they're not lying about what they're selling you. You don't go to McDonald's to, like, get shredded. No. You know, you go there to get shredded pork. <laughs> exactly. Slap between, you know, two f- previously frozen buns with some delicious tangy sauce. Mm-hmm. Onions and pickles. Extra for me. Yes, yes, um, yes. That's a must. When you get that extra pickle, the pickle really is what complements the rest of that pork. So if you want green juice, go to a green juice place. But right. McDonald's is not going to serve you green juice. And I don't want green juice at McDonald's. That's right. That's right. McDonald's isn't trying to fool anybody. McDonald's isn't out here like trying to sell healthy food. You know what you get with McDonald's. So um, McRib. McDonald's food, yeah. McDonald's food is great. You eat the fries. You, know, you eat ten thousand fries. Yeah. A meal, and uh, and you still never get tired of them. That tell is just me, a good fry. Tell me why though. Why do the McDonald's fries like if you don't eat them while they're hot? Like, 10 minutes after they come in the bag, like, they're just, like, they're almost unedible. Inedible. It's almost like you may as well just eat the napkin in the bag. Why? What's up with that? I think that uh, you, I actually have a hot tip for everybody. To reheat McDonald's fries, what you need to do is warm up a skillet and don't put anything in the bottom and just drop the fries in the skillet. And let them, and just like stir them around for five or ten minutes, and it gets them almost, almost, not quite, back to normal tasting. Is this something you could do in a regular pan? But does it have to be a skillet? You know, just regular pan or skillet, but don't add any oil or anything. Just like drop them in there. They have the oil in them, and it reheats them. There you go. You heard it here first. Ace Videos, home skillet, dropping you. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so sick and tired of hearing everybody else get bites except myself. I'll be down right honest with you. This is a McFish. The McRibs rule. McGross. See, we don't need that kind of negativity. Block that. Oh, that was Jighead Outdoors. Yeah, block him from the channel. Yeah. Anyway. Well, guys, this has been a disaster. Um, I hope you guys... I hope you guys enjoyed whatever this was. We should probably delete this later so nobody else has I'd to. leave it up. <laughs> I'd monetize this whole Shane, thing. Shane, thank you for the $2. Um, and Mike, just real quick, real quick pick yeah. here. So we leave, bring up, we've been live streaming 158 minutes. Can you believe that? Anyway, somebody yeah. says, Phillies or Astros, who's your pick? Um, Actually, I'm going to ride the upset here. I'm going to go Phillies. Phillies all the way. Yep. I'm going with Phillies too. So thank you for the $2. Thank you for the super chat, guys. Thank you uh, for everything. I can't believe you guys hung on for this. There's some de- dedication. There's some here, dedication sure. going on out here. Um, thank you guys for watching. That's what it is, or are they bored? They might. Uh, There's I nothing else going on on a Tuesday night. I checked. <laughs> there, are, there are another That's sporting why events. That's why, yeah. That's why we live streamed on Tuesday because we had no sporting events. We knew so we, we had... weren't. The only other thing you, the only other great, best, the other. The only other night this week that's good for live streaming is Thursday night because all the Thursday night football games have been terrible this year. <laughs> so you won't have much competition there. As soon as we end this live stream, somebody's going to catch something And we're going to have to try to go back online. I just send them a picture. <laughs> like, this is what you guys missed. <laughs> that's what I do on Instagram. Like, well, after I hung up, here's the 12-pound catfish I nailed. <laughs> Too bad it wasn't during the five hours we were on. Mm. Well, what do you think? Should we hang it up? Yeah, I'm fine. Whatever you guys want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Hang me. Just leave <laughs> me out it's here. Been on real, the... but it ain't been real fun. <laughs> guys, thank you for hanging out. Tune back in. We'll probably. Well, are we gonna do live stream tomorrow on your channel? Um, uh, it kind of depends because we're filming Hi, tomorrow. Hi, Riley. Thank you so much for the one dollar relay. It kind of depends, like if we're gonna fi- like if we're filming tomorrow, we depending how long that time. Because mm-hmm. if it's like it takes all day to film, mm-hmm. it'll either be tomorrow night or the n- the next night. And I'll let everybody know on my Instagram. You can follow me, High Adventure underscore Video, on Instagram. I'll when Ace will probably drop something. I'll drop something on my channel, and um and and we'll let everybody know when we're gonna live stream. Probably like give like an hour's head notice or something like that before mm-hmm. the live stream. So here you go. Sweet. Cooking it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.